on YouTube are on the verge of flooding with hate comments. He's got that. He's got that. Must wake up. He's got that. Must fight down. He's got that. He's got that. He's got that. Well, how are you doing, my little chud butts? Oh boy, it's the end of the month. It's another month into this fantastic year, the year of the chud. Oh, let's get rid of that pre-stream roll. We don't need that anymore. We're not gonna, we're not gonna need text where we're going, which is probably straight to hell once the nukes start flying. Oh boy, exciting, isn't it? From one potentially apocalyptic situation to the next, 2022 is off to a bang. Oh, I'm liking it. How are you doing, chat? Are you doing well? Have you looked out the window? Has a ghost of Kiev flown over your house? Is it Kiev or Kiev? Kiev, maybe? I don't know. Everybody's changing the name of cities lately, so I think I'm just going to call it Kevin. Has a ghost of Kevin flown over your house? Telling you about the yesteryear, the wonderful old glory days of Home Alone, the movie. Did he slap a little cologne on his face as he rode a missile into Russian territory? Defending the honor of the Ukraine. Oh, I see a lot of a lot of little lightning bolts. Yes, chat. That's probably what you're going to see before the nukes detonate is a flash of light, akin to a lightning bolt, right in your face. Oh. No, I don't want to alarm anybody. <laughs> you know, Jim, the rationalist, doesn't want to be an alarmist about anything. But uh, go check out the movie Threads tonight after the stream. It's just that's what it's called. It's Threads. It's a UK movie. I think uh, it's very uplifting, very positive. It's a very, uh, <laughs> it's a very white-pilled movie. You're gonna love it. Give you a little taste of what's coming. All I see are lightning bolts, corn, and pigs in the chat. Yes, I know what we're talking about today. Don't worry, chat. We're gonna talk about all of it. That's right. We're gonna talk about Ralph. Oh, we're going to talk about Ralph. We're going to talk this shit about Ralph. Oh, God, there's going to be so much Ralph talk. You're not going to know what to do with yourself. We're going to talk about wings. 
and we're going to talk about war. <laughs> Two fat guys in a war. Welcome to the stream, everybody. <laughs> Happy end of the February to you. Now, I know it's uh, Black History Month. We should probably celebrate. Is February Black History Month? I don't know anymore. So many things are happening, I just kind of forgot. I guess we'll have to wait till next year, if there is a next year. Instead, today, you're going to have to deal with, again, two two fat guys in a war. <laughs> oh, there's a holler and a coming chat. This might actually be a somewhat long stream. I don't know. It depends on how lazy and uninterested I am. I have Elden Rings to play. And from what I understand, when they airburst nuclear weapons, electricity stops working. So I really do want to beat that game before the apocalypse hits. So we'll have to see. Uh, but to really unfold the story of what's happened with Ralph, uh, it's going to take quite some time. Uh, Ukraine's going to take a little while. Don't worry, there's not going to be any hot geopolitical takes. I'll leave that to the 22-year-olds out there. <laughs> I'll just keep it light on the bands on how you're all going to burn in nuclear fire. That's right, donate your money to me. I need to build a fallout shelter. Remember, four inches of lead is what you need to protect yourself. I've got to line an entire room in it. The floor, the ceilings, the walls, and four inches of lead. Otherwise, it's like six feet of dirt, and I'm not doing that. Or like ten feet of wood. Who the fuck builds a wooden fallout shelter, by the way? If you're building a wooden fallout shelter, I think you fucked up on the, you know, like the, the really important bits of what a fallout shelter should be. You may as well just stand outside with your dick in your hand. <laughs> a fucking wooden... I, I read a list. There's a list out there that'll tell you what to do on how to build your own... Uh, unique little fallout shelter. And yeah, I do believe dick in your hand is one step above the wooden version. So I'm going to go with the lead. I'm going to lick it too. You got to make sure that's quality Chinese lead. So you got to lick every fucking single plate of it before you slap it onto the wall. Oh, you're going so fast, Chad. Wooden doors? Oh, wooden doors, wooden walls. Wooden ceiling, wooden floor. Not really sure how that... If you built an entire fallout shelter out of wood and you're underground for like three or four weeks and the electricity has gone out and you're in a cold area and you have to light a fire, this is going to turn into like some bad fucking gaming session of Minecraft or some shit where everything burns down except now you're sucking in radioactive dust and you've got third degree burns all over your body. And now you're running around the fucking nuclear fallout wasteland that was your hometown. Yeah, I think I probably just maybe dig a hole and lay in it. But I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself, I guess. I'm getting ahead of myself. We've got to save that for later on when we're talking about the Ukraine. Right? That's uh, We've changed Kiev, Kiev to Kevin. And now it's not Ukraine anymore. It's the Ukraine. How very formal. It's like the royal we, the Ukraine. How nice to meet you, the Ukraine. <laughs> I do have a little update. I know that we're in a new month. Okay, it's the it's a February uh, wrap up, right? So got that chud energy. Everything's looking good. Hey, listen. So they launch a couple of nukes. Fuck it. All right, chuds don't give a shit about nukes. All we give a shit about is slamming pussy, <laughs> slamming pussy, drinking beer, eating chicken. I don't really know. Actually, I've never really looked into this very much. But I'm going to, those are the top three. Oh, oh, a little bit of, oh, look at the nerds. Oh, the fucking nerds are scared of a little bit of nuclear fallout. Oh, what's the matter, pussy? Oh, pussy, are you scared of the nuclear fallout? Fucking nerds. All right, Chad, don't give a shit about that. All right, so we still got that, we got that high energy shit coming into this month. And we got it going right into March. We love nukes, that's right, chat. We want to bathe in that shit. That's the Chud that's the Chud way of life. Go drink your soylent, you little pussy bitch. Oh, irradiate me, Daddy Putin. Oh, that's right. Give me a give me give me more. Give me more rads. That's I want it. So anyway, even though we're in a new month, we gotta carry that energy from last month into this one. Now, if you remember the January stream, we had a little bit of we had a little bit of uh, a little bit of honking going on tiny bit of the honks happening last year uh, last month and uh you know mr trudeau being mr trudeau decided to uh, i don't know make himself fucking dictator for life or some shit anyway he arrested everybody and had them executed or something i don't know i don't follow the news that closely i think he killed all the truckers 
But people in Ottawa are having a little bit of post, post something. Some, something's happening post honking to the people of fucking Ottawa. So I thought I'd share it with you. Let's take a, a small look just to see what's going on with those uh, fine folks. It's from the CBC. The trucks have left Ottawa, but phantom honking lingers for many down. Phantom honking. A shitpost meme has become reality. Phantom honking is uh, lingering downtown. Post-traumatic stress for weeks or from weeks of honking is a temporary mild trauma, psychologist says. Uh-oh. Kevin. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, it's pre-programming. The CBC knew all about it. Kevin uses one word to describe the first days of the protest in downtown Ottawa. Torture. Literally, there were trucks right underneath me, said Kevin, who did not want to provide his last name. For fear of reprisal. It was one thing for me, but I've got animals. I've got three cats, two dogs, so yeah, it was torture. That torture is the reason behind an ongoing class action lawsuit, which sought an injunction prohibiting any honking in the town. When you hear that noise, are you seeing this shit? When you hear that noise, it's like, oh, they're back. Is there a road convoy coming back, right? Said Sean Flynn, who lives three kilometers from downtown, but could still hear the noise of horns inside his home during the protest. I felt I was constantly doing these sort of double takes. It was almost a little bit re-traumatizing. Flynn isn't alone. Downtown resident Zakir Vernari, uh, I butchered his name, but who really cares? He can't hear me mispronounce it because of the phantom honking. Said he hears phantom honking too, usually at night, which keeps him awake. Look at that. Look at that face. He's had cats shitting on him for the last month and a half, and he's just ready to end it. It's hard to explain. Oh, I bet. Because I think with any post-traumatic stress-inducing thinking, it's not very rational. You're not actually hearing honking, he said, adding his experience. Constant on edgesness and fear any time he steps outside since the protests. It's not good for anyone to feel that way. A temporary symptom. I, I, I think you get the point. They're, they're, they've, they're so fucked up over the honking that they're actually, there's phantom honking now. They've reached the point where they hear honking that's not really honking. The truckers have mind-fucked the people in Ottawa so badly, motherfuckers living three kilometers away from downtown city center are hearing phantom honking so badly he can't, he can't sleep. Hey, listen, if our pal Zaniri there can't get his sleep, how's he supposed to hold his wife's hand when she gets fucked by her boyfriend? All right, won't you please think of the bulls? There are Canadian bulls right now who aren't going to be having their hands held while they're slam-fucking cucks' wives. <laughs> oh, the poor Ottawanesians. What, what, how would you, I don't even know, what, what would you call them? Cucks, I guess? The ghost of Ottawa. That's right, the ghost of Ottawa just honked right by my house. <laughs> She's on her way to fight for the Ukraine. So I thought I'd give you that little update. Gone but not forgotten, chat. Gone but not forgotten. So fucked up over the honking that they're still hearing it weeks and weeks and weeks later. That's fantastic. Oh, is my is my mic a little too hot? I don't know. Am I coming in too hot, chat? Is it too loud? Should I turn it down a little bit? Are we too loud, too soft? Try that a little bit. Phantom of Honk. Okay, let's see. Honk, honk. I don't know. There's always a delay, so I've got to wait five minutes for chat to catch up. We'll see. We get it nice and fine-tuned before we get into the fun stuff. That's just a little. That's a little appetizer. That's a little honking appetizer for you, for the stream that's coming up. Oh, we're good. Okay. Well, if as long as we're good, as long as everything's doing well. So let's see where where do we start with this? Oh, it's so much shit to talk about. I think we'll probably do wings because that's that's pretty straightforward. Nice little story. I'll bring you all up on to date on who that is if you don't actually know who Wings of Redemption is and the uh, current going-ons with Wings and his band world saga of life. And then uh, we'll meander our way into the Ralph saga, which I'm sure will take up at least an hour, if not more. And then we'll move on to Ukraine. That gives you an idea of the timetable we're dealing with here, if there's a specific thing you're looking for. Before we jump into that, of course, let me make sure to whore myself. 
get that uh, store link up there. Remember, folks, buy my hats. <laughs> buy my hats, folks. All right, I'm all, hey, let me say a big shout out here. Big shout out to um, uh, Mersh's audience. I didn't know they were saving their money to buy my merchandise. I'm really glad to hear that. At least that's what, you know, according to Mersh, that's what's going on. Of course, if you want to donate, uh, I believe last night, all-time low, uh, all-time small record here of the, uh, one of the lowest grossing night waves in like two years. Uh... So I, I guess like everybody's holding on to that cash. And if you're holding on to that cash, let me just say, buy a hat, buy a couple hats. Hey, listen, put yourself on that list. Swing on over there, buy a few hats. I'd like to also say this. I know there's some big geopolitical stuff going on right now with the Ukraine and Russia. Um, so for, let me just say this. All right, big special announcement, folks. Want to do my part. For uh, Every time you buy a hat or a t-shirt, I'm not going to give a single cent to fucking anybody else. I'm keeping it all for me. There's no money going to Ukraine or to Russia. Uh, fuck them, kids. It's all coming to Daddy Jim. All right, let's, let's buy a hat. And let's make sure to get put on that list. And I want you to know right now that if I, I will be keeping track and I will be keeping tabs. And if I ever see people over here trying to play, trying to play cool with all of us here at Nightwave, but then if I ever go over to a gym stream and I see you donating to Jim and sucking his fucking fake cancer dick, you're done. Okay. All right. Good. Now that we have our <laughs> now we have our advertisement out of the way, uh, let's let's move on. Let's let's talk about what's going on. So, uh, big news in the uh, streaming world, I guess, for all ten people that happen to watch Wings of Redemption. Big shit's going on. Big Pimpin's having a little bit of problems. A little bit of anything for Big Pimpin is a pretty big deal. <laughs> it's a lot of a lot of puns, a lot of playing words here for fat people. Really, if you look at it, it's very layered my sense of humor on this. Now, uh, there might be people who have no idea who the fuck Wings of Redemption is. I put together a little compilation just to try to give you a little taster of who Wings is before we get into the actual story of what's going on with him. Because otherwise, you're going to be like, I don't know who the fuck this guy is. So this is Wings of, Re uh, Wings of Redemption. He's a video game streamer. Uh, clearly, he loves his life and everything related to it. Very fond of streaming. Uh, it's his favorite activity in the world. He wants to do it every single day. Of course, that's deep sarcasm. Uh, let's let's roll that clip. And um, I had my grandma give me a Celine Enema. Like, I hate Call of Duty. I fucking hate it. Dude. It fucking ruined my life. I hate everything about it. <laughs> Banned Super Haunt. No, I'm not fucking fake crying. I almost cried right there. I hate Call of Duty. I don't like playing this shit. Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> I fall off the toilet and I hit my head onto the wall. And I call out for my grandma. I'm like, you might have to take me to the hospital. But what we ended up doing is she ended up sticking her finger up my button and mashing the turd up. <laughs> play rainbow i don't want to play call of duty there's exactly no games i want to play at this point i just can't do it i can't take this shit no more man I'm perma banning you. Uh, mods, mods ban him. He, 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 ban, ban that guy. Mods, ban that guy. <laughs> so that that's Wings, the happiest streamer on earth. Somebody who just uh, loves his fucking life, as you can tell, chat. 
there are a lot of compilations, by the way. If you've never actually seen anything of his, if you just look up Wings of Redemption on YouTube, there are hours of that, of just him throwing shit at the walls and screaming and talking about how much he hates Call of Duty. <laughs> if you really want to make him go insane, tell him to play Fortnite. Uh, so anyway, uh, Wings ran into a little bit of trouble. Apparently he's been exposed. Oh my God, Secret's exposed. One of his friends, somebody who knows him for his life, came out and did a uh, secret Discord interview where they revealed all the secrets of Richard. <laughs> Excuse me, Jordy. Uh, so they uh, they did their little interview where they talked about all his uh, deep, dark secrets. Uh, some terrible things were exposed. Uh, talking about uh, maybe some... Inde how do I put this uh, delicately? Uh, some indecent thoughts or motives towards his own sister. Uh, as well as some other shenanigans taking place. Of course, uh, he didn't take too well to that. Uh, one, because the person that did the interview isn't intelligent enough to not understand that he's going to hunt them down like a wild dog. And then drag them on stream himself, which he did. How uncomfortable would this be? Somebody's just gone and done a secret Discord interview talking about how you want to fuck your sister. And all this other crazy shit. And you make them come to your house and do a two-hour interview sitting directly next to you. Like, shoulder to shoulder next to you. And you just keep looking over. Look at that dead look in Wing's face. His soul has left his body. I want you to tell, tell them I didn't fuck my sister. That's right. You tell them I didn't fuck her once. <laughs> if things couldn't get worse for poor Wings. If it, if it just couldn't go more tits up for the guy. Somebody hacked his PSN. <laughs> this is like the 18th fucking time it's happened to him, but they got his PSN somehow. So now Wings, uh, distraught over the loss of his PSN, decides the most ter decides the most sensible thing to do uh, in this situation is to uh, uh, do a two to three hour live stream about it. Gets on there with his wife. Time to talk about it. Very important. Oh, turn mic up. Okay, let me turn the mic up. All right, is that better? Can can you hear me now, chat? Look, look here. Look, listen. Is it coming through? I don't know if it's coming through, chat. Look, look here. Mike is way too quiet. Oh, Tell me too loud. Now it's too quiet. All right, that's, that's as high as I can go, chat. It's high as... I've been hacked. Wings hackers have come after me now, chat. Louder. Oh, all right, let me get the bullhorn. I'll directly hook it up so you can listen to it. Now it's too loud. Oh, now you're all just fucking with me. All right, I think that's good. I think we're going to sit there. So Wings, after being exposed by his friend, uh, best friend, friend uh, from childhood, drags him onto a stream, makes him tell everybody, I didn't fuck my sister. Isn't that right, bro? And he's like, yeah, you totally didn't fuck your sister, bro. Then his PSN gets hacked. And it's an emotional toll on the family. A a again, pick related is them praying over his hacked PSN account. In his mind, he thought, hey, the best idea right now in this situation is to do a three to four hour live stream talking about my hacked PSN. And then going into the trolls discord and having them make my fat wife and me weigh ourselves for their amusement. See, the trolls convinced him they would give him back his PSN if, they if he weighed himself. Not just him, but his wife. Actually made them go get on a fucking scale and tell him the weight. Of course, at the end of it, he never got his PSN back. Had to get a fucking Xbox Series X because now he can't use his PlayStation. Tried pawning it off. Didn't work out too well for him. And what's the cherry on top of that, chat? What's the uh, chef's kiss, as it were, to our wings tail? Get suspended on Twitter for no reason? Oh, it's a little bit rough. It's a little bit rough for our boy Wings. I mean, what's going on there, buddy? Put the praying picture back up. Get exposed by your best friend, have your PSN stolen, and then the cherry on top, the chef's kiss, you get banned off Twitter. Which is a bit ironic because he bans everybody. Bans simply everybody for everything. So now he's playing on Xbox, and of course Wings is in this very weird, tenuous position where he has to keep his streams super clean to keep making revenue. The problem is, trolls love to fuck with him, so they'll jump into voice chat and say, just agree to shit to try to screw with him. And if you're going to play on any online service 
that exists, the worst one you could pick is Xbox Live. So now I'm sure, I've seen a few already, but I'm sure there are probably more by now, videos up of him <laughs> playing Halo with people uh, liberally dropping the N-bomb. Just dropping it like it's a war. Like it's the Ukraine. And he's the city of Kevin. Oh, is Richard in chat? Richard in chat. Gotta keep it super clean. <laughs> Big ups, little Richard. Yeah, I see chat is uh, familiar with our boy here. Look here, look, listen. Wow, that's our little that's our little wings appetizer. I I know. Now I was originally gonna play a bunch of video clips from this, but uh, when I was looking at the amount of time that's probably gonna be needed for uh, Ralph and uh, uh, the war, <laughs> I figured shit. Uh, there's no way that's gonna happen. So how, let's let's jump into it because I'm sure that's what a majority of you fuckers are waiting for anyway. So uh, let's talk about the rage ping. Oh, he's a fixin' to holler. Chat, are you ready to holler? Do you got your pill bottles ready, chat? Tell me if you got your pill bottles ready. Let me get uh let me get my pill bottle ready for you, chat. Oh, let me play a little uh, a little audio, a little lost audio to get us all ready for the story that's about to unfold. A little kill stream history for you. As we jump into a fantastic tale of the internet. The saga of the rage pig. Flamenco. Are you there? Why can't I hear you, Flamenco? <coughs> Should I retry it again? Flamenco! Flamenco! <coughs> what about now, Flamenco? Flamenco, what about now? <coughs> well, well, answer the fucking question. I mean, you sound like a real fucking dipshit. And I'm gonna be dead honest with you. You wanna talk about spilling tea? I don't give a fuck. I spent more on spilt liquor than most of you motherfuckers spilt on new shoes. What are you what are you talking about? In a minute, I'm going to come. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Holy fuck. I love I love the end of that. It's just it's uh it's perfection, really. It's a great little thing. So let's do a catch up. Because we're in February and uh this story starts in January, really at the end of January. So last time on DBZ. If you remember, we did a small segment at the very end of the January stream. Well, Ralph had gone to Portugal. He was going to teach Andy Worski a lesson. He's going to teach them fucking A-logs a lesson. So he decides that he's going to show up Andy Worski. Andy Worski keeps talking about wanting to go to Portugal, a specific little island off the, uh, off the uh, west coast of it. I don't know where the fuck it is, but uh, ends up in Lisbon. Ends up in Lisbon. Uh, where he's beaten severely by a group of men and they steal his purse. Not making that up. Stole his purse, sold it on eBay. <laughs> and so we talked about this. We even went over a list of suspects, if you remember. Who could have done it? It was a little who done it. Who did it? Okay. Who who's out there? Who's who's stealing purses in uh in Portugal? What's going on? Well, Ralph uh did not take kindly to this. Apparently this was what finally broke him, I guess. I don't know. Uh, there, there are conflicting reports on exactly why Ralph got so mad. You'll see why that's hard to understand. Oh, this is going to be a long story. Okay. <laughs> so what happens after the stream? Well, Ralph's a fixin' to holler. He gets a very mad. He gets big mad. Big time fucking mad. He decides, this gym motherfucker's crossed a line with me. I tell, I tell you what, I'm going to teach you a lesson, motherfucker. I, I can't, I don't have, Mameko does a better fucking Ralph than I do. It's not like I've got the, you know, Flamenco's done like eight fucking streams a week on this by now. Uh, so you can go to him if you want the perfect Ralph impersonation. But I'll just give you the story of it. So Ralph comes back from his trip, beaten, bruised, purseless. <laughs> I guess finds out that I did a stream, uh, uh, briefly talking about it, gets very fucking upset. And does what any reasonable person would do. Decides to write multiple articles talking about how he wishes for my death and the death of my wife. <laughs> you know, typical internet shit. Uh, so I thought, let's read them. Oh, let's read them, chat. Are you, I don't know, are you excited? Should we read them? Do you want to read the articles that Ralph has written? Let's pull time. Uh, <laughs> read the articles? Yeah, yes? Uh, no. 
Let's ask the community. Get a little community chat going. Oh, I see a lot of people sueing in there. Now, I don't want to force you to listen to these articles, but I'm telling you, <clears throat> a little bit of perfection involved in these. Ralph is a bit of a wordsmith. I'm not sure if you're really familiar with that or not. A little bit of a modern-day poet, really. Oh, I'm thinking that's going to be... That's going to be an easy victory. Okay, it looks like we're reading the articles. There are two of them. You have to understand. Stream happens at the end of January. Ralph comes back. Ralph is big fucking mad. First thing Ralph decides to do... Write an article about your ass, Jim. Going to write an article... We're going to do it. All right, let's go into the first one. This is the very first article Ralph wrote, coming back. Oh, excuse me. How terrible. Can't believe I did that. That was a chair squeaking. I didn't belch. That was a chair squeaking, chat. Okay, fuck you. All right, let's, let's get into it. Uh, this is on the Ralph Retort blog, uh, entitled Fear. And this is the article he wrote. Lovely picture of tombstones. <laughs> Uh, look how fast this was published. Remember, I did the stream at the very end of the month, so yeah, he immediately wrote this. What must it be like to live in abject fear? Not the everyday variety. Life is hard, and we're all scared to some degree. Sickness, death, birth, life, the mysteries of existence. These things have torn at the psyche of greater and lesser men since the beginning of time. Fear itself is not new. What I'm talking about, a different kind of fear. One that keeps you from leaving your house. One that causes you to change your name you were born with. One that pushes you into looting your fellow citizens into the nightmare COVID regime. All because at your core you are a scared old man who's simply afraid to die. You've never had any real convictions your whole life. You're proud of that even. Or so you say. In reality you are a scared child. Pray hoping, wishing that you could escape your just rewards. You'll do anything. Suck off anyone to avoid it. You simply can't live as you have portrayed yourself. It's too much. You cry about in your Twitter DMs. You whine to your fat Asian hog. But deep down, you know this is what you signed up for. And you can't fucking stand it. Your entire life is a fabrication. You duck and dive and do whatever you possibly can to avoid the piper getting paid. You put your own family at risk. You do anything, anything at all to avoid simply owning up to your deeds. You have no core whatsoever. And what do you claim is your personality traits are simply things you read on a message board? Most people would see this as a hellish existence because it is. <laughs> there are mistakes I have made to be sure. But I could never and would never live like a fucking bitch. Scared to leave my house. Scared of the name my daddy gave me. Scared of fucking COVID. Scared of anything and everything. It's all terror to you when the microphone is off. We all know it too. It's very easy to see a scared old man. Coughing up one of his last breaths in between lame monologues and weren't even funny two years ago, much less now. I literally would have rather died in the... I literally would have rather died in the street the other day here in Lisbon than live like a fucking coward. If you can even call what I described above as living. Some people are fine with the delusions. They're comforted by them even. I understand. I too used to love the thought of Santa Claus or the Easter Bunny or the Tooth Fairy. But there comes a time when childish delusions about a childish loser must come to an end. It's a natural course of life. You see? Well, if you actually live life, if you live like a scared old bitch, well, maybe you continue in your delusions. I won't hold it against you. The emperor has no clothes. He has no children. And he has very few white blood cells left, allegedly. Maybe in another life he wasn't such a pussy. See you tomorrow night on the kill stream. Whew. Oh. Oh, devastating. It's a little bit spicy, chat. It's, <laughs> it's a little bit. Woo. Uh, can I recover from that? If I've been blown the fuck out, Chad, I think I got blown the fuck out. Oh, dropping those fire pants. I would have rather died in the streets of Lisbon. 
<laughs> Let me just remind you. This is what he looked coming looked like coming back from Lisbon. He wrote an article because I laughed about him having his purse stolen. I think he got a little bit upset, chat. A tiny bit, a little bit peeved off. Just an itty bitty bitty bat. Oh, chat, yeah, we're blowing the fuck out. All right. We got hollered at something fierce here. Now, that was the fire. Or, no, I'm sorry, that was fear. Shit, he should have called it the fire because the second one's the smoke. Now, not satisfied with just dropping one nuclear bomb on me, he decided Ugh, he's got to drop another one. So the follow-up to this classic piece of literature, The Fear on the Ralph Retort, was another article written three days later called The Smoke. Uh, a little bit more, involves more people, too, because now it's not just me. Other motherfuckers got to learn them a lesson, too. So let's take a look at this one. Uh, this is The Smoke from The Ralph Retort. I really didn't want to write a long-ass article on Cancer Man. By the way, trademarking that. I need to make sure it's to say that. I, didn't wanna, I really didn't want to write a long-ass article on Cancer Man James Augustine, formerly James O'Shaughnessy. And all his gay-ass gator shit. But you know it. If you never go into detail on your side and you're thinking people will just run wild and with their own bullshit. I really thought my last post was one of the great here on the website. <laughs> Did ya? I didn't want to add to it. But then Gator went on air and apparently mischaracterized some things. So it just has to happen. I say apparently because I don't watch a single minute of their eight-hour therapy session. Let me lay out some indisputable facts, however. I told Gator I wanted him off the show the day after Andy Worski and that fat lesbian he does a show with sent a goon to my actual house. The reason? He was joking around with Worski about Zannyberries on Twitter. Oh, not the Zannyberries. Chat. Chat. I, I, I don't know. Oh, God, chat. No, not the Zannyberries. Oh. You know, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello. Mameko's here. How you doing, Mameko? <laughs> oh, I got my. Oh, I, I can't hear you. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You know, I can't. Are you there? I, I, maybe it's too hot outside. I, I, I can't hear you. <laughs> oh, God. Mameko, it's not true. Mameko. It's not true. <laughs> nah, let me join in on the fun here, guys. Come on now. There we go. Now we all have pill bottles. Oh, God, yeah, the Sandy Berries. Oh, that, that hits a good spot. The reason? He was joking around with Worski about Sandy Berries on Twitter. Son of a bitch. Uh, here's, the, here's the tweet, by the way. Uh, yeah, man, I want to apologize and we'll clear the record on the next Kino Casino. By the way, it was rude. You didn't even invite me to play D&D &D with you. And Mr. Redeker and Flam had to play it on their own, feeling jealous. Uh, Adrian and Blair won. I'm sorry, from Gator. Uh, we'll have to invite you to the next one. Bring some Zanny Berries. So this is apparently what? This was on the 22nd. So this is this is before my stream even. Made a Zanny Berry joke. Everything went to shit. Don't know why Gator changed his name to that, but apparently he did. This is a guy, Gator, who I paid every month for almost two years. I've literally put food on this fat motherfucker's table, and he's joking around with a cokehead who just sent someone to my home on the very same weekend taking shots at my past drug usage? Disloyal is not the word. Disgusting is more like it. Gator would be crying in his Dakamaru if someone came to his shitty-ass apartment. I mentioned this already, but I wasn't frightened in the slightest about that clown coming to my house. I would have loved nothing more to come out there with my baseball bat and crack his fucking skull open. But you know, I have cases and court concerns all over the fucking country. And like others, I don't run and hide in my anime dungeon, change my name, etc., it's just not something I'm at liberty to do, especially with my daughter about to be born. But do you know who was upset? My fiance. She didn't lose her mind in fear, but she didn't know who it was at first and what a frightening situation. Why, you ask? Someone tried to kidnap her out of her home in us. <laughs> Someone tried to kidnap her out of her home in September of 2020. The bastard's going to be sentenced for this next week. This is public record. But the way you hear people, certain scumbags talk about it, it's no big deal to come to my house to scare my seven-month pregnant fiancé who was almost kidnapped from her home last year. Yeah, if you think like that, you can kill yourself. Even 30 seconds of fear is 30 seconds too much. Plus, all the people you see talking shit would literally piss their pants if someone showed up to their house, but I'm supposed to be cool with that? Fuck no. Uh, and then here's Ralph uh, talking about... This is from the... I believe he's talking about the... Uh, 
Kino Casino where uh, Jesse P.S. from Pod Awful uh, dropped off Pampers at his house. Uh, that's what he's referring to in this particular thing. Gator knew someone tried to kidnap her last year. He knew it all, but he still saw fit to roll me under the bus for cheap Twitter laughs. Why? Because he's weak in the mind and spirit, a little bitch, to be quite honest. The very least someone could do in his spot is keep his fucking mouth shut, have some kind of honor. But you know, that's not Gator, apparently. Oh, and he wasn't happy with his compensation? Well, that's news to me. Gator and I really hope he tries to deny this. Never once complained to me about one red cent. Men ask for money if they want more money. I don't run a fucking charity. And to be quite honest with you, he's been phoning it in for months. <laughs> and barely appearing on the show. Guy like Southern Diggo has added a million times more to the on-air entertainment in the last six months. Not one single brain can argue this. This dude wasn't pulling his ample weight. That's the simple matter of the fact. Anyway, after I caught the beat down here in Lisbon, I messaged him and tried to just forget that. Let's put it behind us. This was my good friend, I thought. You know, he'll let me, uh, <laughs> you know, let this, uh, let me let this be a lesson. Life is more important. Why did, uh, we did it to put it behind us briefly, although he still doesn't want to come back on the show, which, to be honest with you, I was more than fine with. Then he went on Twitter and got his feelings hurt after I wrote my last post. He said he would wish me the best of luck in my future endeavors. This is a line I've used. It comes from Vince McMahon. And he did it to fuck with me, without question. Holy shit, this is long. God, it's like, <laughs> what? This is teenage girl shit. All right. I wrote him on Discord and said there would be no further need for us to talk, and he gave me the Discord for my show that I had him running. In reality, he did very little after the setup. Next time I heard from him, he was sticking on me with a prolific, out-and-proud homosexual streamer, Flamenco. I think I had said something about getting rid of dead weight on my live show, but other than that, I was very measured what I said about this fucking goblin. <laughs> he goes on an eight-hour wine fest, lol. It was clearly planned and premeditated, which you know it's fine. That's how the business goes. But anyone acting like a fucking sniveling weasel has any ounce of honor or moral standing is full of shit. He was my personal little bitch for years for the low, low price of $200 a month. The fuck can make up whatever the hell he wants to. But that's the truth. If you wanted more money, you should have asked for it, loser. He's now on Twitter bringing my son into his attack, so I think that pretty much says all you need to know. The dude is scum, and I wouldn't piss on him if he were on fire. Hopefully this cancer shit is the gift that keeps on giving and spreads to another sector. Speaking of cancer, why? Why would you say something about Daddy Jim? Some fucking old man who shakes his cancer medication bottles. <laughs> oh, God, it really fucks him up. For some reason, chat, this in particular really fucks him up. A little... You know, oh, well, oh, yeah, yeah, well, hello. Mameko's here. How you doing, Mameko? <laughs> oh, I got my, oh, I, I can't hear oh, you. Are you doing good? Oh, I got my gosh. Oh, my God. Well, I can't. Are you there? I, I, maybe it's too hot outside. I, I, I can't hear you. <laughs> oh, God. Shit. Oh, my God. It's not true. Mameko. It's not true. <laughs> uh, let me join in on the fun here, guys. Oh, no. There we go. Now we all have pill bottles. Goddamn old man shaking his fucking pill bottles at me. <laughs> Some fucking old man who shakes his cancer medication at me and talks shit about me every time I hear him open his goddamn mouth on the top of that shit isn't even funny. It's the same, that's the same old stale joke like his actual life. Oh, I beg to differ. I think it's quite hilarious. <laughs> I, I find it more funny now, to be honest with you, than I did before. Uh, let's just, let's loop some more of this shit. Flamenco, are you there? Why can't I hear you, Flamenco? <coughs> Should I retry it again? Flamenco! Flamenco! <coughs> what about now, Flamenco? Flamenco, what about now? <coughs> well, well, answer the fucking question. I mean, you sound like a real fucking dipshit. And I'm gonna be dead honest with you. You wanna talk about spilling tea? I don't give a fuck. I spent more on spilt liquor than most of you motherfuckers spilt on new shoes. What are you what are you talking about? In a minute, I'm going to come. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> oh god, that's good stuff. It's a, it's some old stale joke like his actual life. That guy lives in a fucking constant state of fear. 
and refuses to even leave his home, lest he get sneezed on and die. It was dead wrong on the biggest issue of our lifetimes, COVID-19. For months he promoted that nonsense that we needed to shut down our whole world, came on my show and said the same thing. Then he disappeared for a year and he still hasn't owned up to the worst call of our lifetimes. I like how he's putting a lot of, it's like I run this. Like I got like Fauci on the, ho- uh, the, the, the hotline. I got, a, I got a whole phone bank in front of me. Everybody, are you ready? We need to discuss this COVID-19 thing. Big Jim's calling the shots. Don't make me wag my pill bottles at you. <laughs> and he's just an annoying faggot. Joking about someone is one thing I joke about myself constantly. My life is insane. But when every time you see someone, they're talking shit, it's not good natured. It's a guy trying to put someone else down, and I just don't think some old scary-minded anime dungeon-having freak deserves any respect anymore. At one time, I felt differently. I've been very deferential to this guy. That shit is beyond over. I'm not Gator. I don't roll over for anyone. You know, when he's talking about, uh, let me, let, you know, I should insert this here. Hold on one second, chat. Let me find something. Where he's like, one time I felt differently, right? Okay. Let's go find that one time that he felt differently. <laughs> oh, let me see if I can find the clip. Oh, chat, you're going to wonder, what what is Jim looking for exactly? What What clip is Jim actually looking for? Well, let's see if I can find it. So we're buried in here. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. I think this is it. Okay. This might be how he one time felt a little differently. That golden voice, the dul- docile tones of, of the internet aristocrat while I'm hitting it. Yeah. I'd, I'd probably I'd much rather hit it. <laughs> he's a farmer in Minnesota, so he's, he's probably got muscles. He's probably stuff. like strapping as fuck. He looks yeah. like a... Well, Jack Gyllenhaal off done. Brokeback Mountain or some shit. Yeah, no I'm doubt. And we know Milo. Milo's pretty hot for him too. So there's a potential for a three way there. He, um, he did give Milo the, that pearl. Those dulcet tones. Oh, Mister Medicare and his dulcet tones. Oh, he's got the body of a farmer. Sometimes, sometimes my vagina gets a little bit wet when I think about Farmer Jim coming to pay me a visit, shaking his pill bottle as he pulls me down. Whisper sweet nothings in my ear about the Gamergate. Tells me about how close he is to Milo. And then inserts himself inside of me. The warmth of Farmer Jim deep inside of me as I picture Jake Gyllenhaal pumping and dumping my rubber. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. All right. Let's get back to it. Uh, anyway, that's what we meant by felt a little bit differently. <laughs> felt a tiny bit tiny bit differently about it at one time. Uh, everything you see from him is fake. He was scared shitless of getting sued by that old monograph loser, so shitless in fact that he changed his own name. Do you know how that was discovered, by the way? His cam whore partner got her card pulled because she was too sloppy to keep up. Sloppy's a theme with her. This is the mighty Medicare, the king of fake anonymity who name-fagged his whole life, who was against Patreon and merch before he was for it, who is actually just a scared senior citizen, not too far off from the literal nursing home. I'm, by the way, I'm like three years older than this dude. (laughs) Just, just in case, you know, everybody needs to keep up a little bit. (laughs) I don't know. Is he terrified in like three years time? Is he going to just jump off a bridge because he's become a decrepit old man? I don't know. I'm way past acting like this dude has any standing to talk shit about anyone's life and not get some smoke and return motherfucker. You sit in your house terrified, watch Japanese cartoons all day? I would sooner die than live your pathetic existence. That's no hyperbole. (laughs) I would rather, I would rather die than watch Japanese cartoons. It's very sane, very sane stance to take. Some people wanted me to go into detail, so there you go. I think you're starting to catch my drift, whether you agree or not. I'm not going to live as a fake, I'm not going to give deference to some subpar ex-employee who ratted on me while I was in my hospital bed. And I'm for damn sure not going to give any more fucks about addressing anyone or any topic. If you want smoke, you can get it. Oh. Woo. That's a lot of smoke, chat. Oh, I'm smoked out of cancer, man. Got to catch his breath, chat. It's a lot of smoke to deal with. Motherfucker. (laughs) I would rather die than watch anime. It's a little bit hardcore. What did anime ever do to you, Ralph? 
<laughs> what did those innocent Japanese cartoons ever do to you? Ralph, I want you to listen to my dulcet tones as you look into the face of Jake Gyllenhaal and tell me where the anime touched you. <laughs> where did the anime touch you, Ralph? This is Jake Gyllenhaal, Farmer Jim here, with his dulcet tones. And his golden body, glistening in the sun, all sweaty, muscled out. Oh, it's Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> okay, you know, uh, so, oh my god, where were we on the story? We're just, this is just getting started. Holy shit. <clears throat> Cancer man needs to cough for a second. So uh, we do the stream. We talk about his purse getting stolen. He uh, unleashes two full articles called The Fear and the Smoke, uh, talking about how uh, uh, my wife's a, a fat cam whore and I should die, uh, and anime is the worst thing in the world, and then in the next three years he would be considering himself a decrepit old man, and how uh, the pill bottle thing is not funny at all. Stop doing it, chat. Not funny. So you can imagine uh, what the reaction to this would be. Uh, Ralph is starting to get in Twitter fights with everybody. Because uh, it's not just me, it's Gator. And then Flamenco starts streaming about it. He's talking about it. And Flamenco, if you don't know, when he does streams, he's got a little a little uh, animated avatar. So he decides he's going to just go with the theme of it. He's going to roll with the whole thing. Uh, so let me give you a little taste of that. I'm sure Ralph took this very well when he first saw this transformation live on stream by Flamenco. Guys, 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 please, whatever you do, don't post pills or cord. It, 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 it's, it's awakening something in me. Don't post the bunnies either. Whatever you guys do, do not post horse heads. Don't do any of that. No, no, no. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. The corn harvest will be mighty plentiful this year. Ah, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, ah, uh, God dang it, Ah! 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 <laughs> oh no, I'm gutting out! <laughs> ah! Uh, 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 that's... That's not true! That's not true! Oh, how are you? Oh, how are you? Oh, my! Ah! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh, you've awakened the gun inside of me, boys. Oh, oh, shit. So Flam decides he's going to gunt out a little bit. He's gunting out. And uh, he's rolling with it. <laughs> he's got the avatar. The whole outfit going on, a little pill bottle animation, the Kid Diddler hat, everything's going great. And of course, because YouTube being what it is, streamers will stream streamers streaming streamers. All of a sudden, one night, a little anime rabbit appears. Uh, this is a tweet at uh, Ralph. Even uh, Pippin Kippin Pippa is going in on the Ralph, and anime rabbit is laughing at Ethan Ralph, lol, the mighty have fallen. Now, Ralph responds, I don't keep up with the going-ons of anime rabbits, sir. I'm afraid the fact that you do say more about your character than it does mine. Hope you fucking die, Cancer Man! You and your goddamn anime rabbits. <laughs> so, uh, he, he's completely unaware. Never heard of this uh, anime rabbit. But what happens live on anime rabbit stream? Well, little pickled peppers Pippa, uh, <laughs> Jackson finds out they got blocked by Ralph. In fact, I think there's video of this. Let me see if I can find the fucking actual stream. I think somebody put a clip up of it. Uh, in real time. Or Ralph is denying he's ever heard of this person. And then all of a sudden. Uh, all of a sudden. Oh, there we go. Yes, they've got a clip up of it. Fantastic. Let me pull this up for everybody. Chat. Get comfy. Enjoy. Here we go. This is uh, full make was stream. Stream sniping. Uh, everybody's streaming everybody else. So just get used to it. He blocks anyone laughing at him. Well, I I don't know if block lists go up that high. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think you can block that many people. <laughs> no, this was after. Oh, damn it. A few moments later. Oh! I think we can end stream, Jack. <laughs> I think we can end stream.
Oh, oh, that's embarrassing. How how are you gonna tell people you've never heard of a little anime rabbit girl, and then you fucking block her? You block her on Twitter. Of course, that's not the the only person Ralph blocked. Uh, he was blocking everybody. Even blocked me for a while there. After writing two articles, <laughs> wishing for my death, and then having Flamento or Fl Flameka Mameko uh, gunt out, and then an anime rabbit talk shit about him. Starts just blocking everybody. Just blocking left and right. Everybody's getting blocked. Now, I was expecting this, seriously. Given given the articles that we'd seen before, I thought, oh, for sure. For sure he's going to write an article talking about fuck anime and fuck rabbits. Unfortunately, we never got that. We never got the death to the anime rabbit girl article that we all so desperately knew we wanted. We just got a lot more hollering. Lots of hollering on there, chat. Goddamn motherfuckers. We're not even like halfway through the story. God, shit, Ralph. When you melt down, you decide to really do it in a spectacular way, don't you? Take a small break here and read a few super berries. Uh, from Luca Ferenza. Am I dreaming Papa Jim is back? Well, yes, I am. From Cena Arbuckle. I have a friend in Ukraine who I've been in contact with these last couple of days, and he's been telling me of this Ukrainian sailor guy, eats a can of spinach, gets arms, uh, arms get big, becomes just basically a destructible wild stuff. Got somebody uh, giving a Sweetie Squad sticker from Beguile Meat. Love you, Farmer Jim. Keep it up, you beautiful man. Well, you know, with these Jake Gyllenhaal looks, I'll try my best. I'll try my best. From Tux Loves You, thanks again for shouting out Super Gunt 64 it got the Rage Piggy seething up a treat. I called into the show not long after, and hilarity ensued. See the vid on my channel. Oh, we'll be taking a look at Super Gaunt 64 here. Don't worry, I will talk about it. Hi off tap. Hooray to our continued Chud Uprising. Thank you, as always. Pray Susan will keep her hands off these sweet, sweet shekels. I love Israel and the Jews. From Laugh My Ass Off Schwarz. Finally, you stream when I'm not uh, at a family event. Ethan, why are you a-crying? And uh, let's... Oh, missed one there. Uh, there we go. Uh, Bromedy Blank. Ralph, tell Farmer Augustine where the anime rabbit touched you. Don't be shy. From animation, you, unlimited Jim to Ralph. Assert your feelings. You know it to be true. In Jer or James Earl Jones' voice. And finally, John Marcus. John and Grant listing in uh, NC. Chud Energy. Oh, and John. Carlos Reyes, the Virgin. Hurara. Uh, Rushia versus the Chad Gunslayer. Peppa Pipkin. Okay. So, to sum up, he gets his ass kicked in another country, and they steal his purse. We laugh about it. He comes back and writes s just seething articles about fucking wishing death on everyone, blocking people left and right. And the thing, he hates anime, I guess. He hates anime dungeons. <laughs> he hates anime dungeons. Uh, and he hates anime. So it must really fucking drive him crazy when anime rabbits start talking shit about him. Uh, we saw Super Chat there talking about it. Let me see if I can pull up a clip to show you, chat. Somebody actually made um, an Ethan Ralph video game called Super Gunt 64. Uh, a lot of people have been playing it. Oh, there's already world record speed runs and shit. This is amazing. So let me just uh, pull up a small gameplay clip. This was made by somebody uh, very skilled at pissing Ralph off, apparently. This is a uh, gameplay footage of Super Gunt 64, which is downloadable and available. I think flamenco has got links to it up on his uh, on his YouTube channel because it's a friend of his that made it. But let's take a quick look at some Super Gunt 64 gameplay. My name is Ethan. Super Gun 64 here. Fuck you! YouTube. 
look at that character model. Perfection. <laughs> Perfection. Fuck! You did. Fuck you! Fuck! Oh, it's just, it's fucking great. Let me skip ahead a little bit. Let's take a look at one of the worlds. Oh, this is available to download and play. It's a fantastic little game. There's a character model, nice and up close. Fuck you! I want to suck Jim's cock. Uh, let me read some of the dialogue for you, since it's not fully voiced, obviously. Wow, you're really fucking fat. You'll find the forum post alcoholism stole inside your worst memories. First, talk to the gunt buddy. Press B to talk. He'll certainly help you out, and so will the, his uh, nibbas in other areas. Ah, there we go. Fuck you! Do you notice the gunt trees? <laughs> Do you notice that he, he textured the trees with gunt? And all the little red coins are replaced with trash burgers? Oh, handcrafted perfection, chat. <laughs> oh, the voice clips, everything about it's just, oh, it's good stuff. <laughs> God, that's some old internet shit. You don't see that a lot uh, these days where somebody takes the time to make a fully realized fucking uh, ROM hack <laughs> shitting on somebody. And then release it publicly. I don't know if he's still working on it. I think he is. I think he's still fucking around with uh, placing characters and uh, doing text and all of that. Uh, so you can you can tell this was not going well for Ralph. Uh, blocking everybody, getting into fights, writing articles. Now you got a video game coming out, Super Gun 64. Uh, Kino Casino is talking about it almost weekly now because it's 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 gone on for like a week and a half at this point. Uh, but we're about to get into the crazy shit. Oh, we're not we're not done yet. No, we've got we've got that build up. Oh, it's gonna get the oh, tensions rising. My farmer muscles are getting tense just thinking about it. <laughs> oh, uh, but the build up is gonna build a little more until we get that we get that release everybody's waiting for. Oh, that that sweet sweet release of a uh, a certain live stream uh, that we'll be watching, uh, a host, uh, hosted on a certain person's channel that we'll be watching as well. But I think oh, we've been going for an hour. Let's take a small break. I'm going to go grab another drink. Call this a bathroom break, chud buds. Listen to a little music when we get back. We'll pick up where the story uh, left off with the uh, decision to uh, teach Redeker and his uh, pig whore wife a fucking lesson. Going to teach Gator a lesson too. Going to uh, gonna drop my fucking wrath on these motherfuckers. <laughs> The second part of the story is so much more entertaining than the first, and the first was fucking great to begin with. So let's take a small break, get a little Rama-Rama with this. When we come back, we'll continue.
All right, we're back, chat. Hopefully you're not too rama-rama on me. You're going to need to be nice and sober for what's coming up next. So, things are not going well for Ralph. He's getting fucking angry at everybody. He's rage-pigging, if you will. Getting a little bit... He's hollering. He's a hollering over everybody. So, he decides, you know what? Let's be sensible about this. He takes a deep breath, gathers himself up, and says, Maybe I've gone too far in a few places. <laughs> Maybe I should be more reasonable in my approach to the internet. I know. I know what the most reasonable thing to do would be. Uh, let me threaten to fucking destroy people. So it starts with uh, Gator. Gator! Gator! They're A-logging me, Gator! Uh, so he sends this. Uh, Gator's posting this all over uh, all over Twitter. Uh, but this is something he sent to him, I believe, uh, with text messaging. They probably texted each other all the time. Uh, this is a message. It's no mercy now. I hope you're ready till my dying day, sir. That's a promise. It's a big old green R. Coming from a Ralph. Oh, shit. What does he mean by that? What did Gator do? Well, Gator kind of broke ranks. So, uh, S. Flamenco and uh, myself and others are kind of watching this all unfold. Gator kind of pulls away and says, you know what? I'm out. I'm done. And uh, Ralph gets very angry about that. Uh, they have a public uh, argument talking about pay. If you are familiar, the kill stream's been around now for, well, years. Uh, was pretty profitable back on YouTube. Did good money. Did good money after it left YouTube after the uh, heel stream. And uh, Gator got, I think, about $150 to $200 a month. So Gator publicly talked about how that was bullshit, had a public break with the show. So Ralph thought he'd be funny, and he sent him $1 as a severance package as a fuck you to Gator. So Gator took the $1 and sent it to Ralph's, uh, uh, Ralph's the, the mother of Ralph's child. <laughs> he took the dollar, sent it to her, and said, there, I paid more money in child support than you have. Uh, and that set Ralph through the fucking roof. So now he's telling Gator he's coming for him. Uh, right, and that, and then this, it comes into this. He gets public about it. He's not even hiding it. Uh, from the Ralph retort, man, I sure wonder what Gator's job in college is going to think about his close friendships with all these white nationalists, appearance on their podcasts, etc. He'll turn anyone. Didn't he go on Exodus Americanus when it was on TRS? Oof. Glad it's not me. I wonder what, you know, all of these people are going to think when I try to ruin Gator's life by painting him as a white nationalist. This is the fucking kill stream. Uh, should I ramble off the people that have been on the fucking kill stream? It's a very weird thing to post publicly. I mean, I'm thinking fucking Mark Collette, Ramsey Paul, Richard Spencer, Jared Taylor. I wonder what J Gator's job and college are going to think. Well, who's going to tell them? Who's going to tell them? Oh, I know. Ralph is. This is from Discord. This is the night uh, Kino Casino's going on, and Ralph has a fucking meltdown in his Discord. Oh, I'll be paying a visit to Gator's hometown here soon as well. And people are talking about what do you mean? I have some flyers I'm going to post all over the place. Some flyers all over the place. Oh, not just Gator either, folks. He's a coming to get me too! Including his community college campus in ECU where he goes to football games but can't go to school, LOL. Then I'm heading to Minnesota in March. We'll see who all knows Redeker and his concubine around town. Well, what are you going to do around town, Ralph? Oh, I'm going to post their faces and info around town and interview people about them. Do you know X lives here? Not X. Not the, not the horrendous X. Does X live there? They just sent someone to my door, LOL. Now it's over the line. I'm going to show you motherfuckers the line. <sighs> so Ethan Ralph, who runs the kill stream, which has been deplatformed from multiple fucking places because of uh, uh, extremist content, because of the things that are said and expressed on the show, by having people come on and debate race realism and white nationalism, talk about all these things, uh, he's going to, to his co-host, uh, go to his hometown, put his uh, face up and his name up and information about him, tell everybody he's a white supremacist and a racist, and try to cancel him in real life. You know, back in the day, that was called life ruination. Uh, people engaged in it, too. There used to be old YouTube videos 
of people that would go into somebody's town and do a five by five where they'd go five blocks up and five blocks across and put posters up everywhere about somebody saying they're kid, you know, they're raping kids or they deal drugs or some horrendous shit and just try to fucking ruin them. And essentially that's what Ralph's going for here. He's going to fuck Gator up. Not only that, he's coming to Minnesota too. Uh, he's a coming to get me, Jim. Cancer man, I'm coming to get you. Wagging your bottles at me, cancer man. What the fuck? Uh, and this is about the point where I, I was like, that's about as fucking pathetic as you can get. You're so fucking mad at the internet that you are going to literally try to destroy your co-host's life. You're going to try to fuck his life up by branding him a white nat. You're going to cancel him in real life. Try to ruin his career and his future and his job and his school. Put his posters up all over the fucking place. How are you ever going to cry about being fucked with after that? How are you ever going to whine about being, be, you know, deplatformed or demonetized, having your family fucked with or having yourself fucked with when you're doing that kind of shit? How are you going to have guests on to talk about anything related to uh, white nationalism or fucking the white race? Or uh, because apparently that's the shit that you think people should be destroyed for, right? Isn't that, oh, where was the fucking exact quote? Here, let's let's find it again. Uh, yeah, cl uh, close relationships with these white nationalists and their podcast. Uh, who the fuck would go on your show after that? That has any self-respect? That isn't a, a, you know, an absolute two-faced sellout fuck after reading something like that? Makes you wonder, really makes you wonder about these people that bitch about being canceled then are so all in on doing it to somebody else to that degree. That's not, you know, an internet slap fight. That's just way over the fucking line. And that's his co-host. That's a dude he worked with that he's going to do that to. Oh, it's a hollering chat. That's a riot. It's a hollering. So this all leads up to the big shit show. <laughs> Oh, let's pull up the big shit show. Uh, we're going to watch this chat. Well, not all of it, because it would be, it's four and a half hours. So we're not going to watch all of it, but we're going to watch a good portion of it. So how could this be, get, how could it get weirder, right? How could this whole situation get weirder? Like in the span of a week, you're talking about trying to destroy your ex co host life in the most permanent way you can fucking possibly imagine. I know. Let's, uh, so Ralph decides he's going to do a stream. He does a stream. He gets fucking shit face drunk. And for two hours, two hours, begs me to come on his stream. Begs me on his hands and knees. Cancer man, please come on my stream so I can uh, holler at you. So there's some negotiations that are going on. And I'm saying that I'll do it on Flamenco stream. Mamenco. But, of course, Ralph won't do that. He doesn't want to do it on uh, Flamenco Stream. He counteroffers with somebody. I can't remember what their name was, but it was some third-party podcast. I, you know, I'm sure they were neutral, but whatever. Who ends up getting it? Where does this big debate go on? Now, this has been you know, a week of buildup. Ralph's a pest. He's a hollering. He's going to bring me on and teach me a fucking lesson. What better place to do it than on Mundane Matt's channel? If you remember, the kill stream got a big bump, a lot of recognition. It was a big moment. When Monday Matt was brought onto the kill stream and revealed his flagging history. And Matt ate shit for about two or three years because of that. Because he flagged on people because he got mad on the internet. So now here we are in Bizarro World where everything has now been reversed. And Matt is going to host a stream where I'm going to debate Ralph about essentially trying to destroy people's lives because they got he got mad on the internet. So let's cue this bad boy up and we'll just watch. Watch as this goes on. There are multiple mirrors up. This is on Matt's channel, uh, on his Boulder Talk, uh, Boulder Talk Radio. Uh, now, the the last two and a half hours, there are other people that came on as guests to talk about what had just been discussed. People like Frank Castle and um, uh, Jesse from uh, Pod Awful, uh, somebody from the the Masterson Show. I can't remember what his fucking name is. Just just different fucking people. Uh, but here we go. This is the moment of truth. This is when when we come on to debate. The big issues, and I don't know, chat. You know, actually, let's do a poll before we even jump into the the main the main course here. Uh, let's find out how bad 
is Cancer Man going to get blown the fuck out? Uh, <laughs> Place your bets now, chat. Will Cancer Man get blown the fuck out in this uh, particular thing? Oh, there we go. Okay. For those that haven't seen this, I don't know how many people have actually watched this. I'm just assuming you haven't as I set up the storyline for this. Yes, so everybody's there. We're all, we're all ready to go. This is the culmination of everything. This is the buildup. Cancer Man, uh, I, am I going to get blown the fuck out? Is the Ralph Mail going to bring the holler and energy in and teach me a fucking lesson? Yes, I am the Cancer Man, uh, people in chat are asking. Remember from the articles he wrote, I am the Cancer Man. <laughs> Light up a cigarette just to really solidify that chat. I'm, you don't have a lot of faith in me. Oh, my God. I'm getting blown the fuck out, chat. What are you, what are you doing here? You're turning against me. <sighs> I can't, I can't, I can't fight chat. Chat's right. Oh, looks like, looks like Cancer Man's going to get blown the fuck out here, folks. We'll let that roll. Let's pull up the stream. Let's jump into it and watch the, uh, the conclusion to a week of fucking pure insanity. I hope everything is well with you. I've, I heard about your situation, so that does suck. Well, I, you know, I mean, things have been going okay. I, I do have a, a potentially drug-abusing alcoholic with a head wound deciding to drive up to my state and holler at me. So, yeah. you know, so there's a, to just to kind of start this off, uh, I showed up first, had a little bit of a discussion with Matt. He's going to be a neutral host, and Matt did a great job, I'll be honest. Didn't interfere, didn't interject, really. I think he said two things during the entire fucking stream, uh, and that was it. Let me and Ralph just talk, uh, which is what you should do if you ever host one of these. Just let the two idiots talk uh, and uh, interject as least. I think he was just busy counting super chats <laughs> and laughing at the whole fucking absurdity of the situation. Uh, but here we go. This should be about the time that Ralph comes in. And let's just get a feel for how things go. I am going to be fair about <laughs> so that one. completely neutral. Yeah. I, I was true. I mean, do you, well, come on. Let's be fair, right? I don't have much of a reason. You know, oh, no, I believe you. I actually yeah. honestly believe you. So, yeah, so, but I'm, but I'm, but I'm, you know, I've grown as a human in the last couple of years and I can, I can handle neutra neutrality pretty well. Um, you know, so, uh, with any luck, Ralph will come on in because I did send him that three minutes ago. Um, Ralph, uh, I also turned off the need to authenticate on the stream yard. So, because I know I, he had come on before and I had blocked him before, but I unblocked everybody. This was a long time ago. Sure. That's yeah, a fantastic. Well, doesn't even begin to describe here we that, go folks but, uh here we are yeah i know i'm a little on the shock side too that's why i'm kind of like all right let's just uh let's see what happens tonight why not so we good to go matt oh yeah we're good to go so again like i said just we'll keep the rules you know let's i mean i know things are going to get heated obviously well, that's why I'll we're all here just, well, well well let me say this at the top there's certain things obviously i don't know you know uh, where Medicare wants to go with his with his commentary, but there's certain things I have legal, yeah, uh, you know, considerations or whatever. I, I you know, I'd like to say, chat too. Uh, what a great guy I am. You know, Farmer Jim, uh, Jake Chill, and all over here. Uh, I didn't bring up any of his legal shit. Uh, I didn't bring up any of his personal shit either. I'm a good boy, chat. Cancer man is a cancer man's a good boy. Won't uh, you know? Leave the call if he goes there or whatever. But there's certain things I cannot comment on, so I'll just I just want to put that out uh, up front. Sure. No, and that's and I, I'd already said that where we'll leave those kind of elements behind. And, and I, I'm fine with what the Rage Pig is saying. Okay. And he can talk about anything Do he I wants to bring upset? up. Do I seem upset, old man? You've been upset for the last week. You think so? Do I seem upset? You seem upset. You just cried for two hours on Twitter, what? begging me to come so you could suck Not my dick. Even... You're here now. Open your mouth. No, I'm not sucking. Come on, say, oh, always been a say, loser. Oh, Daddy Jim. You've say, always oh, been a loser. Daddy Jim. You've always been a loser, faggot. You've oh, but I look like Jake Gyllenhaal with those Jim farmer Justin. muscles, don't I? You changed your name. Oh, he's so sexy. Why'd can you, you, can your, you do why'd the you Ode to Jim again? change your birth name, faggot? Why'd you change your birth name, huh? You really think that's a huge thing, man? Yeah, like, dude, you've been I going on about that because you can't fucking own what you did in life. If, if Ralph, if it was such a huge, if it was such a huge made. deal, Ralph, yeah, I why wouldn't I have done it in the state that hides it? Your name, Ralph, if, you if it was such a huge deal, why would I have not gone to a state that lets you hide it? 
you're just like LLC. Did you change the name your daddy gave you? Because you're oh such my a bitch. daddy. You're such oh, a bitch. Oh, not my not my you're daddy. Not my Ronnie. Coward. Yeah, motherfucker. Not my you're Ronnie. Not of a bitch. You know what? You can make all the jokes you want. I'm gonna. Most I'm gonna make a lot of them. Watch this show. They're not gonna watch, change their name. They're watch, not gonna change show. the name. Ralph, you have no Whatever. audience. Your audience yeah. is dead. It's gone. Yeah, okay. What audience? Watch what your show? life will be here in about five years, cancer patient, nigger. Fuck you. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. Hold. I think, chat. I think. I think he might be a little bit upset. I think he might be a little bit mad. <laughs> a tiny bit perturbed over this conversation we're having. I come in as a gentleman. <laughs> I come in as a gentleman and whisper sweet sueys into Rage Pig's ears. And he's he's dropping gamer words. He's dropping some gamer words in this stream. Come on, let's, big boy words. let's let's keep the gamer words to a minimum for the time being. Ralph you screams, know. I'm not angry, and then starts dropping N bombs. Seems like you're a little oh, upset. What? Oh, you've never dropped an N bomb, you fucking loser. Who do you, you who seem are you to be the to one fool? getting pretty who riled up here. To fool here. I thought you were nice and calm. Who are you trying to fool? Do you think Didn't I'm going to give back you a lot of pills from the beatdown? Do you think of I'm going to back, back down from you? I'll take your old fucking greasy slut and take her around back too, you fucking motherfucker. Do you think I give a fuck? You seem so I'm mad. I'm not like Gator. I'm not like Flamenco. I'm not going to bow down. I know you're about three times their size. Yeah, I'm not going to bow down to one of you. Oh, you're going to wheel yourself down the block? You're talking about people's sizes? You can't even walk outside your fucking house. House, motherfucker, you fucking pitiful. And you can't Excuse walk down the streets of Portugal. Okay, well, when I show up to your hometown and I'm a block away from your house, why don't you come down the block then, bitch? You'll just hear pig noises. Oh, because you can't fucking move. You'll hear, you'll you'll hear sweet across the, across down the sky. The fucking block of bullshit with COVID. Why don't you answer about what you did? Why don't you answer about what you did with COVID? Why don't you answer about what you did with COVID? Oh, you don't want to say shit about it, huh? You want to make fun of uh, I think I think things might have gotten off to a bit of a heated start, chat. <laughs> I think things might have got a little out of hand at the beginning. A little bit upset, a little bit mad, a little bit mad. <laughs> He's a hollering. Oh, I'll listen. Say, say yeah, well, what? Go ahead, ask again. You fucker will sneeze on you and you'll fucking die, you fucking coward. No, you got to back it up. Say what again? Go ahead. I'll let you. I'll let you speak and answer. What won't I answer for? Yeah, COVID. Put the liquor down, fat ass. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. Put Did you see the liquor leap out, out of the glass head. trying to get away from your gullet? <laughs> I didn't run, bitch. I'm right here. Do you think I'm I know you me? can't run. I'm That's why you got beat you down bitch. by four Portuguese men. Anonymous, fake, anon faggot Jim Augustine who changed his name to get away it's from Augustine. He ever God, did. how Nobody drunk and dumb you, are you? Say it, say it with me. Nobody is scared say it you with me, Ralph. And they Augustine. won't ever be scared. Fuck you, bitch. Augustine. And fuck Ralph, come on. Come on. You fake being religious. You should be able to say this particular name. Nobody gives a fuck. You want to talk over me? We can do it all day. Like I said. Are we going to holler? Are you a fixing to holler? Ralph? What, what you won't let me talk, so why won't I? Come on, why won't for me. I? Why won't Holla I, bitch? Me, Ralph. Why won't Holla I, bitch? Like you're Holla so for fucking me, Ralph. silly. Like you're so fucking silly. Ralph, please holler for me. Oh. me. <laughs> I I just like how it fell back to you're so silly. You're such a goof. You're such a lovable goof, Farmer Jim, with your Jake Gyllenhaal muscles <laughs> making big noises at me. On a Monday Matt stream as I'm fucking shit face drunk. Holy shit. I don't think uh I don't think he really liked me sueing at him, chat, I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> I think he might have been slightly upset by that. Oh, it is yeah. holler. For me. A cancer patient who can't even leave his fucking house, who thinks he has some anime babe who's like fucking 200 pounds. You're a fucking joke. Your cam whore girlfriend is a fucking joke, and your whole life is a fucking joke. Oh, Ralph, can I ask you a question? It's I've always been truth, I've been genuinely nigger. curious about this. Truth. Fuck you. Oh, you. You don't like questions? No, go give me a question if you want one. Oh, I'll okay. ask you a question. Why did you change your name, faggot? Because I felt like it. Oh, is that why? No, I don't think so. I don't think that's why. What What? What was your motivation? Oh, you just felt like changing your name? Ralph, if sense. the job... If, why if the did you change your name, faggot? Are you done asking the question, pig? Faggot, so are you going to answer it? I'm Legitimate? trying to, but a hog won't start, stop. Oh, yeah, let him, let, hold on, hold on. Let him answer, let him he's answer. Not, won't let him tell the truth. Oh, my God, please, Farmer Jarbo, please. Oh, All right. yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. 
<laughs> anyway, listen. Okay, so you want to know why Jim changed his name? That's what you're asking. He changed the name that he was born with because he's afraid of the things he said on the internet. Even though everybody knows where he lives, I can roll up to his house tomorrow if I'd like that. By the way, he thought it was funny when people came up to my. Like. He thought it was funny when people came to my house. Where did he they say that, that Ralph? Comic fucking it. joke. Fuck you. Oh, this is going to be uh, a common theme, uh, chat. As we watch through this video, I, I should have like put like a, a ticker up, like a counter, so you could follow through with the amount of bullshit that's going to get called out. But he would just make just fucking wild statements, just wild fucking statements, nothing to back it up, just throw it out there, just see what sticks, just fucking throwing it against the wall. <laughs> and if you asked him, where did I say that? When did that happen? Uh, can you can you like me to that? Can you can you show me that? He just gets super fucking mad. <laughs> He'd start a hollering. You fucker! You Point know what you it. did? Point you me post to it. on Point that me fucking stream. You it, post on that fucking when? stream. You know what you did? Oh, fucker. Point me to it. Fuck you! You know Point exactly what you oh, did. Oh, piggy's oh, lying. You thought it was so funny with oh, the boys cool lying again. Cameo. Perpetual you know victim. Look at you getting ready. Then. Okay, say it wasn't cool. Then. Pull it up. Pull it up, badass. Say it wasn't cool. Show me. Say it wasn't cool. Then. Show me, Ralph. Okay, well, tell me that I'm full of shit and that it wasn't you cool. You are full of shit. Pull it up. Show okay, me. Well, Where did I people... co-sign it? Okay, well, say that it wasn't cool for people to come I'm to I'm not here house. to protect your fragile feelings, fuck boy. You're full of shit, fucker. You know you co If you want to lie and get called out on it, you look like a Warsky bitch. Pig? Pull it up. You know Pull it up, Warsky? Piggy. Where is it? Do you know Andy Worski was shitting on you like a month ago and like no shitting shit. you bad? And? and you fucking took his side for no reason? Like Andy Worski was shitting on me. You know what I didn't do, Ralph? I didn't start spurging out and grabbing flyers up in neighborhood for a human dude you're so fucking pitiful i never Ralph, i didn't lose you. my mind and act like an idiot and implode to you like this you whole entire time you took it out of your like way to fuck with me for no reason you kept how, how have i gone out of my way to fuck like, with I didn't you fuck with you dude like i didn't do how have this I gone out of my way to fuck with you Ralph? okay okay do you really like i mean are you serious like, i i don't know if you caught it chat he'll bring it up later on in the stream when we're talking in this conversation uh but he mentions pill bottles Again, I don't know why this drives him crazy. Um, I thought it was just funny. Uh, to give you a little bit of background on what started this, uh, I went on Flamenco's stream. Flamenco was on uh, what's referred to as the pill stream, the one where you hear like a pill bottle shake and Ralph is really drunk. Uh, that's what the audio from, uh, well, I'll just play it again. This comes from Flamenco. Are you there? Why can't I hear you, Flamenco? <laughs> Should I retry it again? Flamenco. Flamico! What about now, Flamico? Flamico, what about now? Well, well, answer the fucking question. I mean, you sound like a real fucking dipshit. So it's the audio from that. So I went on as a guest on one of Flamico's streams, and I shook a pill bottle, and Flamico shook a pill bottle back at me. It was maybe one minute's worth of like a two-hour stream. And then I went on to a Gator stream, who was also on the pill stream. And uh, I shook a pill bottle, and he shook a pill bottle back. And that was enough to set into motion, that, I guess, everything that has happened in this entire timeline of insanity. All right. <laughs> Ralph was so mad at Andy Worski, he flew to another country to teach him a lesson and got beat up and had his purse stolen. He got so mad at Gator that he, he declared he was going to destroy his life and put up posters all over his fucking neighborhood. He got so mad at me for shaking a pill bottle about a fucking stream he was on that uh, he was going to, he, he's, you know, my, my uh, cam whore girlfriend this and change the name your daddy gave you that and multiple fucking uh, long articles, the fire, or the, the fear and the smoke, all culminating in a stream he was drunk as shit on and spent two hours begging me to come on. And this is the end result of it. It's this fucking shit show. I'm, I'm, you I'm you sit honestly. here and tell everybody what a badass you are and how you can take a joke, but the moment somebody I shakes a pill bottle, like, you fall into like, a tailspin. What about oh. you did that for like six, eight months straight? It's like, okay, well, clearly this guy I, 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 with me. I played okay, a so pill bottle did. sound three, four times, and that was enough to make What's, you oh, do that. Well, you never said, oh, Ralph, I wonder how he's doing. Maybe he's doing good. I, you know, I like Why this Why the fuck song. would I? You're not my friend, okay, idiot. I told you on stream I'm not your friend. You're not my motherfucking friend either, then. To your face. Why Do you remember that? Do you remember that stream with Brittany Venti and bitch. the others? Well, then why would I say anything but nice about you, then? If you're shitting on me, why won't I shit on you? You're no, not Ralph, my you, There's a difference here between what you're saying. You want me to say nice things and pat your ass? 
the fuck you? All your They're not here to hold your hand through the minefield of the internet and get you money and clout. Fuck you. You're fucking. <laughs> you're disingenuous. It's like Ralph. A, there's literally a video clip of me saying you I'm not your friend. Are you, are you, there is. There. There are multiple video clips. This is a really weird phenomenon I've, I've come across when I stream with people. I, I, they take offense to it when I say I'm not your friend. Like I. I. There's a differentiate. Uh, I can differentiate between the internet and real life. And you know what I would consider a friend is somebody you know in real life that you do real life shit with, and then you know people on the internet. Right? That seems like kind of a common thing. I'm sure most of you don't consider uh, the people you shit post and chat with or talk to on fucking social media your, your friends. They're just, you know, fucking people you know. But you, like, tell people that, and it like it's like their minds explode. So I've had to say that a few times on previous streams, like on uh, the Morning Kumite, and I'm pretty sure that's where this is from, where it was, like, Ralph and Brittany Venti and a few other people. And they're talking about internet friendships, and I said, I'm not, I'm not friendly with anybody. I'm, none of you are my friends. But, like, Ralph wants me to, like, give him positive reinforcement. It's very weird. Like, he wants positive reinforcement. He's like, why aren't you saying nice things about me? Why aren't you checking in to see how I'm doing? Why am I not checking in to see how you're doing? Motherfucker, I've been dealing with cancer and shit for, like, a year and a half. What do you mean, why am I not checking in on you? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't take time out of dying to make sure Ralph is doing well. I didn't, I didn't come by the fucking uh, pig stall to see how the rage piggy's doing. <laughs> oh, Jim, can you stop going to the doctor for a moment and come and ask me how I feel today? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me, buddy? Are you going to let me talk, sure. talk or no? Go ahead. Okay. So it's a guy who I've had on my show many times. I've known for literally almost a decade. And, of course, you know, you talk your shit. That's your thing. I don't... <laughs> Like, that doesn't bother me, but it's like every fucking time for the last year, this guy's talking shit about me. He's fucking with me, and it's like, why? Like, I don't go out of my way to fuck with you. I don't do anything to you. And so at a certain point, I'm not Gator. I'm not Flamenco. I'm not so-and-so. And it's like this guy's shitting on me. It's like, okay, well, fuck you. Like, honestly, there's a lot of shit to talk about with you, to be quite real. And so, like... I love that he does the Wings thing. If you watch Wings or Redemption, he'll he'll occasionally just throw out real talk. <laughs> real talk, chat. And here's Ralph. To be quite real with you, there are some things we, we need to talk about COVID-19 and why you changed the name your daddy gave you. I don't want to take it there, but I'm not going to be a bitch. I'm not fucking Gator. And so I'm not going to live like that, period. And so that's my position, and I think anybody with a brain can understand that. Mm -hmm. uh, can I get my rebuttal to this? Yes, you go ahead. You gave me all the time. Okay. All right. Well, uh, you've made it perfectly clear. Gator had mentioned you've, perf you've mentioned on the past two streams uh, that you felt this way for a while, and it feels good to be able to write about it. Which one makes me think you're a bitch? Well, because you were pulled... fucking with me, dude. You know you were. You, gotta, you said you're gonna let me rebuttal. You're right. You're right. You're right. You said you felt this way for a year or more. So, but you didn't say anything, which I guess makes you a bitch because you're too afraid to say anything. Secondly, you're like, why aren't you treating me like a friend? Why aren't you being my best friend? Well, apparently you've got some fucking animosity built up, huh? You got some animosity built up towards me over whatever the fuck is your no. issue. You you literally started this. All right, go I ahead. made I made a stream joking about the shit that you did in Portugal, which was funny. It was. And you, and you act like, oh, oh, you, oh, Jim, why would you do that? Remember Andy's Aim, Aim, Aim stream? I let that motherfucker up, too, immediately after that. Yeah, but you know what? Andy has said, do you even, like... Uh, that is true, by the way. When Andy Worski did that live stream uh, with his pals, it was, what, Failure and Alex, I think? And they're down in Miami, and Alex pulled a gun out, and they're like, Aim, 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 we will defend ourselves and shit. Like, I did a stream about that, too, because it's funny and stupid. Just like going to Portugal and getting beat up and having your purse stolen is funny and stupid. How could I not fucking talk about that? It'd be a very unchud like thing to do. <laughs> a fucking live stream called Year of the Chud to just casually uh, breeze over that one. A little bit, a little bit weird to breeze like, over that. Like, you know what? I feel like sometimes that I'm the only motherfucker who like actually watches this shit day to day. Do you know the things that Andy Worski has said about you personally? Probably terrible things. Yes. Probably just like Matt Jarbo has said terrible things. Well, yeah, of course, but it's like... Can confirm. Okay, well, I'm just saying it's like 
oh well now Ralph's the bad guy of the week like this is like okay crazy. well I'm not I'm not totally done with my rebuttal so okay, what do we find ourselves with huh I, I do the Portugal stream and what is your immediate response your fucking whore of a wife which is amusing because you'll sit there and cry on the internet about people fucking with your family but your instant reaction is I'm going after your wife don't be a hypocrite don't say oh that's off limits but now, now when I do it, it's cool. Person. When I do it, it's cool. But you talk about my kids or my uh, my girlfriends or wives or whatever. That's the line. That's the Ralph Amell line. It's either all or nothing. And this shit you're doing, I, I'd like to make really clear when you know I retweet the stuff with Gator. Oh, that's not the doxing issue I have an issue with. You're going from doxing to life ruination. You want to start putting wait, posters up? Kidding? Wait a minute. I uh, know I'm not done with my rebuttal. You can rebut my well, rebuttal in a second. In soon. That's fine. Well, I'm go almost ahead. done. Okay, go ahead. You're talking about putting up flyers. What are they going to think of his work and his job when they find out he's a white nationalist? Let me ask you a question. Do you think it's funny when Nick Fuentes has his bank account taken away? You like it when he gets fucked with like that? No, you were joking around about him being you, a faggot two weeks ago. So you think a lot of shit is funny that I don't. Wait, think I do think a lot of shit is funny, but I'm not the one and saying you, that you, his you life should be ruined. You're, you're, do, you, do you think it was funny you're, when? Do you think it was funny when Matt uh, uh, Dick Masterson's MP2 project and banks fucked him over? You like life no, ruination? You know who supported that? All the people you're supporting now, Jim. Apparently, you uh, too, Ralph, because you're jumping into it. You know oh, oh shit. We're 20 minutes into it. Uh, I, I should tell you, too, because we're not going to watch the whole thing because <laughs> it devolves into a therapy stream. I, I, I don't I, you know, I should probably change the fucking let me let me let me switch some things around here for one quick second. <laughs> I think the poll is done. I've been thoroughly blown the fuck out, chat. I understand. <laughs> have you ever. Uh, oh, that was a chair again. Uh, have you ever gotten into an argument with somebody where you got like it got uncomfortable? Like you started feeling bad, maybe like thirty minutes into it, it's just uh, it's a uh, it's a bit of an argument between the two of you, and then you're like, I don't know, it's not like pity really. But there's probably like a specific German word for it, because they have a word for every weird fucking thing that nobody else does. I I, I don't know what. How would I describe it? It's not really. I, I don't know. It's it's like pity, but not pity. You just start feeling bad. It's like, imagine if you got into a street fight with somebody and your first hit put them in a coma and like you're there curb stomping them. And like after the fourth or fifth kick to the head and blood's everywhere and teeth are flowing about, you're like, fuck, man, I can't, I can't really keep kicking them because my foot's getting sore and I feel kind of bad now because they're not fighting back really in any comprehensible way. <laughs> it's just kind of become one-sided, like a slaughter rule in sports. I guess is what I'm looking for. A disgusted pity chat, maybe. <laughs> Guntenfreud? <laughs> is that what you came up with, chat? Guntenfreud? Oh, that's fucking perfection. Nice. We'll use that. We'll call that Guntenfreud. <laughs> the state of being uh, somehow shamefully piteous of somebody <laughs> that you shouldn't be. Guntenfreud. I wish I could have caught the username of who came up with that. Uh, it was <laughs> it was pretty fucking good. I'll be honest. Holy fuck. Uh, no, it's not empathy. It's not it's not empathy because <laughs> you don't feel sorry for them. It's it's almost like it's like it's a mixture of pity and you've just you kind of lost interest. That uh, there we go. It's like. Pity and disinterest have merged together to make you be like, eh, what would you call that? Gunt and Freud. <laughs> That's what you'd call it. And so the stream that started off with uh, me doing pig calls for Ralph and him uh, hollering off at me uh, turned into a therapy session as he got drunker and drunker. I'll show you a few select clips of that. Let's just jump ahead. fucking 20 minutes into this i will still show you the ending because uh it is just phenomenal you said oh jim attack my family oh you point me to it you can't point me to it oh jim does this you can't point me to it it's all these examples of you jumped ahead in your drug animal mind are you only talking we we can end it early but i just i i do i do focus on the doxing thing go ahead Uh, because it's like you know as well as I do that the whole doxing, oh my God, so and so's a dox like is retarded. 
right? That that's like completely... I, I've all, I publicly you know stated. That I think stupid, right? I publicly stated that there's a difference between when you dock somebody and you do life ruination. What you're doing is life ruination. Okay, well, okay, well what's he doing then? What what is the thing? Wait, what is what is Gator doing when he shows DMs and talks about what a shit boss you were that underpaid him? Probably shitting on you, Ralph. That's what he's doing. Well, I didn't underpay him for for one thing. He you paid him 150 to 200 when you're making yeah, five to ten grand a month. And you're that a was cunt. worth what he fucking. You're a cunt for doing that. Worth, yeah. That's why Gator's not there, and Zidane's not there, and Flamenco's not there, and all your co-hosts leave. You know what? Uh, it's know. very it's very elfish of you, Ralph. How you pay you your co-hosts? Co so it's like okay. All right. <laughs> It's like this is a guy who who said he was my best friend and cozied up to me for years and years and said he would never leak things and never go against me and never do this and never fuck with my family. And then it's all on the front page. So you know what? You can say everything you want, but you have no fucking clue what it's actually like. And so you can sit here and you can claim. So Ralph, how bad would things have to be if your best friend, like you said, of eight years has turned on you? He's a shit. Uh, and I'll tell no, you. No, but if he, if he did it, why, why would he do it? If you were such close friends, how bad? Bad must you be you know, acting? He did it. You know why I think he did it, and I'll Why? tell you this true, truthfully. I think he did it because he thought I was gonna go after him. That's that's why. Jeez, I, I wonder why he thought that. I wasn't going to. That's the thing. Like, oh, yeah, the words of an angel, right? <laughs> I literally. Oh, so it just it kind of drags on and on and on. Let's uh, let's. <laughs> Skip ahead a little more. They fucking kill Gator a couple of days ago. You I literally have never said that, and you'll never find a clip of me saying it or a tweet of me saying it. They weren't saying that on air, though. You said I said that. Okay, well, you weren't fucking promoting. You sure attribute things. a lot of shit to me that I don't do, Ralph. Go get mad at the people that are doing it, it's Ralph. It's important, though. Like, what the fuck, dude? Like, I never did anything to you. Like, it's like, why? I don't know. I, you're asking me to hold people back? Is that what you want? No, but it's like, you don't have to support it. Like, what the fuck? You've made me pay attention to it because, as I've said, you've gone into a tailspin, and it's become a dumpster fire. What are you doing? Well, you're right about that. I'll say I should just not respond. But, uh, you know, when you're hearing just fucking – I'm not even saying you can't respond. You can talk all the shit in the world. You can tell that people Gator is a massive faggot. You hate me, and I have cancer. I don't give a shit. But it's that life ruination line. You're playing with fire with that shit. No, do you not understand? This is my life. Fucking – Super chats and restreams and all this shit. This is what I do for a living. <laughs> day in and day out. Uh, some restreams and the super chats. It's very wings-ish. Again, I, I think the, these two flow into each other kind of well. It's a little wings of redemption. If you ever listen to wings, uh, he talks about, I hate streaming. I hate Call of Duty. All oh, this is my life. We're fucking talking about here. And then he hucks a fucking controller at the wall. <laughs> and he uh, hollers about it. Uh, so this is that you get the gist of the stream. You can watch this again. It's on uh, Matt's channel. Uh, let me let me double check the name of it here for you. If you want to go check it out later. Uh, yeah, just Matt Jarbo YouTube channel, Boulder Talk Radio, Medica versus Ralph. It's like an hour and a half. Uh, the whole thing is. Uh, but we'll get to the to the fun part at the end here. Uh, where the conversation ends. And uh, I suggest to Matt and everybody else, it's like, well, you know, shit, if it's over, it's done with. Uh, let's, I don't know, Matt, you got a bunch of super chats. Why don't we just respond to some of them? Maybe the audience has something they want to say. <laughs> You'll see how that goes. Uh, and I was like, man, why would he show that? I was like, this guy's been, you know, you're not fully a non or whatever, but you've been a little assiduous about. Uh... And that's why I'm at, you roll with the punches. Thing, man, is like, you know, you, you want to, you roll with the punches. You want to pick a few? Uh, here we you go. You know what I think would be more valuable is a discussion between us three, not the audience. I think I think Monday Matt needs to weigh in. I well, I mean, I have my thoughts. Gate. I'm gonna throw myself out. I'm not gonna. I'm not mentioning that fucking shit. No, uh, that shit was old and dead and buried. But uh, no, look, look, Ralph. Here's the thing, man. Is like you know, you are a fucking hypocrite. All right, like what? you're. <laughs> You know, well, and you know you're a hypocrite, dude. I'll mute myself so you two can go for it. No, I'm I'm not trying to get involved in this shit, but it's like you're out there complaining about people coming to your fucking house, dude. Like I got doxxed three years ago with that shit. I've had people come to my house. I've had shit sent to my house. Sure. All well, right. Like people come to my house, dude. Yeah. Well, it's I'm not saying it's cool and I don't support it. All I'm saying is like, you know, it's like fucking have some goddamn empathy for other people who you've helped put in those situations. No, well, you don't understand, like 
uh well maybe you do it maybe you don't but uh i understand a lot more than you fucking think dude well, let all me right speak for and i'll let you speak uh, for sure um i <laughs> Actually, I, I do have a lot of empathy for um, people in our position, I guess you could say. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't think that that's... that's well, let correct. me let me ask you this. Let me. And I want an honest answer. How many fucking people have you flagged? Like, literally. Because I only did... I did 13. It was stupid, but that's the number. All yeah, right. And people, I mean, I'm not going to get into... Nah, but dude, that's the thing, man. You went at me for a long-ass fucking time. All right, you went at me for a long ass time over my kid. It doesn't matter if you yell about your. Bachelor's nah, all I'm pointing out, man, is like you want. To, if you want me to have empathy over you having a daughter I in a couple care months. About your empathy, I hope you die in a ditch. I'm sure I'm you sure. fucking do hope I die, I but the reality of it is, is we're here and I'm not. I dead. literally don't care, Matt. You do so care. Like, you no, obviously no, care no, because you bring it up a lot. And he quit. And he. Uh, there you go, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Jarbo, just, oh, history of rhymes. <laughs> Holy shit. So Matt Jarbo goes from being a guest on the kill stream and getting exposed for flagging people to calling Ralph out on what he said is Ralph's flagging. And what does Ralph do? At the very end, he runs off stream. What a disastrous stream this was. He got so drunk. He was so fucking drunk for this, which was just a terrible idea. And then he comes on, and 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 instead, of, I was like, "Hey, let's let's take audience questions, you know, and then we'll 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 answer a few of them, and then everybody can fuck off, and that'll be the night." He's like, "No, no, let's let's talk, Matt. Let's talk." So Matt wants to talk. What does Ralph do? He fucking he runs. Ethan Ralph ran from Matt fucking Jarbo. That's where we are. <laughs> Welcome to Clan World. Cl not clan world sorry Woo! clown world i don't want any of those uh, uh those posters getting uh, put up around the neighborhood saying I, uh, that's not a quote folks <laughs> welcome to clan world holy shit what is going on what is going on chat oh we got uh, more donations here let me read a few uh, as we meander our way through this clusterfuck from Laugh My Ass Off Schwartz. Finally, you stream when I'm not... Oh, already read that one. Uh, hey, Jim. Been listening to you since uh, 2015 after seeing many e-celebs fall from grace. Milo, Sargon, etc. You've been the only YouTuber in the niche that has stayed consistent, not been a complete hypocrite. One of the few people I kind of admire. Well, thank you. That's from uh, Bailiff7777. I'm not trying to kiss ass. Uh, just saying thank you for being genuine. You've helped me remember to not take everything so seriously. Also, I had cancer years ago, and it sucks. Bring for your recovery and for many more years of great entertainment. From Evil Bunny, uh, Bunny Buddy at Rakita Law, shame me into upping my donation. Thanks for all the entertainment, Jim. Uh, you are very welcome. Uh, from Aiden Paladin, the German term for secondhand shame is uh, Fremd Scham. I think we're going to go for a Guntenfreud or whatever the fuck it was. Uh, 427 Arbach, first time viewer and super chatter, was watching uh, Pipkin Pippa clips and realized you were live, busting my sides laughing though. From T-Man Rank. Hey, Jim. It's good to see you streaming again, and hopefully this is a sign that you're on the road to recovery from your super cancer aids, and enjoy the chud energy. Have a wonderful day. From The Real Diamond. Uh, Ralph hides his neck, so he isn't tempted to slit it himself. From L. Sid Leon. Matt is the one who made the gunt rage quit in the end. Laugh my fucking ass off. And from Dwight and Ether. You missed the part where, or when twice Ralph forgot he was on Jarbo's stream. Uh, that is very true. Uh, during the stream, Ralph, because I, I'm going to guess because he was so drunk, uh, forgot or just didn't realize that he was on Matt Jarbo's stream. And he kept saying shit like, Matt, why are you here? <laughs> what, what are you doing here, Matt? Why are you on this stream, Matt? <sighs> I should have used my dulcet tones to make things calm down. <laughs> but I didn't. And so that was really, I mean, that was the start of February. That was kind of like from the end, the very tail end of January through the first week and a half of February was that little Rage Pig saga of Ralph just fucking losing his mind and deciding he was going to go on an internet jihad against multiple people. I was mad at me, but then he got real fucking mad at Gator, which I think was from the $1 donation, which really, if you're going to give somebody a $1 severance package and then they turn that joke around on you, I mean, that's kind of fair play. You can't really get that fucking mad about it. Uh, but he did. 
decided he was going to fucking destroy Gator. And it started a little war between the two. All the while, Flamenco and uh, Pickled Peppers Pipkin are streaming and laughing about it, as are multiple other people. And it just evolves into a giant fucking shit show. Uh, that was the last of my interactions. I don't know what Ralph has done after this, um, since he hasn't been writing blog posts about me like we're ex-girlfriend and boyfriend. <laughs> this Jake Gyllenhaal shit. So I don't know uh, what what really happened after those first two weeks of February or where the uh, amazing adventure will go from here. He's got some like bowling event or something coming up, and he was at AFPAC too, I think, as well. Uh, but aside from that, I, I don't know. Will there be more insane fucking articles and streams coming up? I, I, we'll have to wait for uh, <laughs> for a fucking uh, March roundup would be my answer to that, I guess. Uh, my fellow chat butts. We'd have to wait for another another month's roundup. Oh, somebody said, has Putin finally destroyed Ukraine? Did that happen while we're in the middle of the stream and I missed it? Oh, boy. God, you, you, you talk about dumb internet shit and all of a sudden the world's in the middle of a war. Well, it's a good timing, I guess, because we're going to be getting into the Ukraine stuff now. As we've worked our way through wings and we've uh, caught up on uh, the Ralph happenings, we'll get into uh, what's going on. <laughs> what's going on with Mr. Putin? Oh, let me let me just change. Since we're talking, it's a, a serious topic, right? The uh, Ukraine Russia war. So let me let me treat this with the respect and dignity it deserves. There we go. <laughs> Since this is such an important and heartfelt issue, we really need to treat it with some deference. Really, really, really try to you know, put put on some sensitive gloves now when we're handling this hot topic. <laughs> uh, nothing says that like Sonic. Oh, well, let me make sure I got everything ready for this. I, I'm not sure if the world has exploded. If it did, I guess. Uh, I, I, I guess I missed that. I, oh boy, I missed it. All right. Well, I can pull that down too because we're done with the uh, Boulder Talk shit. That over there. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, chat. We're going to talk about the ghost of Kiev and uh, the herstory she's making. So uh, I'll leave all the hot uh, political takes to the uh, experts. Again, the 20 year olds on YouTube. <laughs> and I'll just try to give a rough, uh, uh, let's just give a rough outline of what's going on right now. Uh, Vladimir Putin, haunted, <laughs> haunted by the spirits of anime, decided one day for no reason at all uh, that he was going to destroy Ukraine. Just woke up, it was a normal day of the week, and thought, they took my land and I have to kill all of them. <laughs> so he did what any sensible man would do uh, after talking to the spirit of anime. He got uh, onto his favorite little table which is 842 feet long, and made his general sit at the other end of the room and told them through a megaphone, it's time to go and fight. Now you might be asking, why would Putin sit at a table that's this big? Why would he be this far away from everybody else? Well, he needs at least two and a half miles between him and the other people so the ghost of Kiev doesn't bomb him. This is an anti-ghost of Kiev measure. In fact, that's how the table is sold. <laughs> it's a very specially crafted uh, Russian uh, piece of furniture. It keeps them, keeps them well. You know, I was actually looking. Somebody posted this. I don't know how true this is. But this feels like a money pit to me. They're talking about uh, the ruble. Uh, it looks like, you know, well, it was sitting at like $30 or, or 30 rubles to a dollar exchange for nearly 14 years. And then he decides he's going to go all in on Ukraine, starting with Crimea. And then it's just everything goes tits up in a matter of seven years. So everything's good for 14 years, and then in half that time, it goes from 30 rubles to $1 to like 120 rubles to $1. And every time he fucks with the Ukraine, it gets worse. And now it's getting it's getting even, even tougher. But it's not just the money value we need to think about. You know, when a war happens, when there's suffering that's taking place between the brave Ukrainian and brave Russian people, we sometimes forget about who's the real victim of this travesty, which are the whores. Can we, chat, take a moment to think of the whores? As Rolling Stone wrote, without, without it, I can't pay rent, Russian OnlyFans models. Can't get paid amid sanctions and the invasion. 
People think we choose Putin as a leader, but it's not true. He's a real nightmare for Russia, and we all want to fix this terrible situation. I believe that's a quote from Moscow Milkers. Uh, she made her fortune farting into mics with ASMR porn on OnlyFans. But a real fucking tragedy, isn't it? You know, war comes in and nobody really thinks about it, but what about the fucking filthy whores? <laughs> Has anybody thought about them? Oh, you go on and on about the children and the old women. But what about the sluts? Won't somebody think of the sluts and the whores? Chat, can I get a W for the whores of Ukraine and Russia? They can't make their money. OnlyFans isn't paying their bills anymore. I'll give you a second to catch up with me, chat, but let's get a big W. W stands for whore. Let's get a big W for all those whores <laughs> who've been thought patrolled into poverty uh, by this uh, just unfortunate war. How would you like that? Could you imagine? Could you imagine you're some Ukrainian soldier and there's, and you're like, uh, imagine a Ukrainian and a Chechen meet each other on the battlefield and they've expelled, you know, like they've expended all their ammunition. And this is like some movie tier fight, right? This is like some Hollywood shit. It's knives out, hand to hand fucking CQC combat. They're doing shit like out of Metal Gear, right? Backflips and fucking uh, acrobatic judo shit. And then in the middle of this fight for life and death, one of their phones falls out. And it opens up this article. And they both just stare at it. They both take a minute to just fucking stare in wonderment at the fact that they're fighting tooth and nail, life and death, in the middle of some field. And some whore is crying about the fact she can't fart into a microphone anymore. <laughs> and that's when they realize they live in clown world. And they just slit their own throats. Because what's the point of fighting for anything anymore? Because this is what Rolling Stone is going to do an article on. Here I am. <laughs> Here I am, Azamov, in the middle of this field, fighting you to the death. And all Rolling Stone cares about is this farting whore. <laughs> oh, what nightmarish. Oh, of course, let's not forget the brave, the brave ghost of, ghost of Kevin. She's up there somewhere, chat. Last I heard, her kill count was 842 planes. Oh, I'm sorry, 8,422 planes. She's destroyed the Russian Air Force 22 times over. And it's true. History books won't tell you that the ghost of uh, Kevin was a black woman. And you need to say her name. I hear that when she kicks on the afterburner and she's going to take out another Russian... All you can hear as it flies by is, That's right! When that sonic boom hits. <laughs> She's got, instead of like a, an angel painted on the cockpit, it's a picture of Beyonce shaking her neck. The Russians fear that shit. Like if you're a Russian, and you're up there in the sky, and you're dogfighting somebody, and you suddenly catch a glimpse of Beyonce coming through the clouds, it's game over. Might as well pop the parachute and call it a fucking day. The ghost of Kevin's coming to get you. Loud and proud. Queen of the air. <laughs> Styling and profiling up in the sky. Of course, it's not just the ghost of Kevin that we need to recognize as a, bla or a brave black Ukrainian woman. It's also the fact uh, that Lily Cat posted. Lily Cat's meow. I think we can all agree with this. I feel like I'm watching George Floyd die again. Only the country version. We all stand around knowing this is wrong, but helpless to stop it. What can we do? <laughs> Ukraine is George Floyd. <laughs> Ukraine can't breathe, guys. Okay? Now you need to understand that Ukraine is George Floyd. <laughs> You know, when you're in the middle of, like, Twitter's a weird fucking place. It's hard to tell sometimes. Is this person masterfully trolling idiots, or are they an idiot? I don't know, but it's so magnificent, I'm really stunned by it, almost. I don't know if they're fucking retarded, or if they're just taking advantage of retards, but this is, like, almost the perfect tweet. This really sums up, like, half a decade worth of Twitter. And just one fucking tweet. 
I feel like I'm watching George Floyd die again. Only the country version. Which makes it sound like like he's Garth Brooks. He's the country version of it. I don't even I don't know what the fuck that means. God, I love the internet sometimes. Holy shit. You know, we're like on the verge of the Third World War. And somebody's out there comparing Ukraine to George Floyd. And it's just perfection. It's just exactly how it should be. <laughs> this is this is this tweet is God winking at us. That's what this tweet is. Of course, it's not just um, it's not just the ghost of Kevin, or uh, people demanding that we recognize George Floyd can't breathe again, the country version. Uh, you know, the Russians have picked a fight they weren't prepared for. Because here comes anomalous. Putin will not stop at Ukraine. Fuck Putin. Fuck Putin. Hashtag anonymous. Uh, this got retweeted like 10,000 times. And I love this picture. It's nothing but overly obese men and guy. Fun. There's not a single skinny person in this picture. There's not one single skinny person in this picture. You may think I'm I, like, just take a close look at it. They're all obese. Every single one of them's fat. It's just, could you, could you imagine? <clears throat> oh, sorry about that. Anonymous hack my lungs. Could you imagine if you're like the Ministry of Defense for Russia and some, some fucking junior intern runs in and he's like, oh my God, Vlad, we're in trouble. Anomalous is coming to get us. And they show you this fucking picture of fat people and Guy Fox masks. <laughs> it's everybody's getting in on this. It's amazing. And Ukraine is encouraging it, which is brilliant. Ukraine establishing foreign legion for volunteers from abroad. This is from the president. Uh, this is a couple days ago. So like the French foreign legion, if you want to join the Ukrainian international legion, I think that's what they're calling it, um, they'll welcome you. They'll give you guns and shit and let you go just hog wild. And I think the UK and a few other countries said, yeah, fuck it. If you want to go fight for Ukraine and kill people, well, yeah, that sounds fun. Go do that. So of course, of course. Who decides that this is the best idea ever? Reddit. Reddit's now set up a subreddit, Volunteers for Ukraine, because we all know the best fucking hunter killers come from Reddit. I like the second one. Uh, tips for the reality of going into a conflict zone. Hey guys, quick question here. Decided to fly out to Poland and then jog into fucking Ukraine to fight in Kiev. I'm sorry, Kevin. Uh, any tips and tricks for not getting my fucking head blown off by a Chechen rebel? <laughs> hey guys, I decided I'm gonna go fight in a war where I'm not, you know, I'm not from either of the countries as just a mercenary. Uh, but I decided to do the smart thing and pop by Reddit first to get some advice on uh, how not to completely fuck this up. Never fired a gun in my life. <laughs> Never used a weapon once. What would you recommend? Hey guys, is it possible to interview the ghost of Kevin? Could she give me some tips and tricks, some gamer hints for how I can MLG my way through this? <laughs> oh. Now I'd like to show you what I imagine this is going to be. Okay. Just bear with me here. So Reddit decide it you know it wants to go into a combat zone. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, Reddit. You can go into that combat zone and fight those fucking uh those Russians for the Ukrainians. Uh oh, where is it? Here we go. Oh no, 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 that's not it. Uh where is it? Where is it? there we go? This is what I imagine we're looking at. I want you to picture in your mind these gentlemen. We're gonna we're gonna call them I don't know code name Thunderfuck. They've come from the heart of Reddit. They've loaded up their katanas. They've got their ninja pants on. Their fedoras and trench coats are ready, except the one dude shirtless Bob, who just wants his tits out when he's slaughtering Russians. And they've decided that they're going to go and deal death like it's never been dealt with before. Codename Thunderfuck is ready to punish people. And they are going to Naruto run their way into a fucking war zone. I want you to imagine every one of these guys with a Beats by Dre headset on. Listening to this as they Naruto run their way into Chechen rebels. Whoa!
I don't think it's going to end well. I think I think I think a lot of redditors are going to fucking get murdered, massacred by Russian soldiers. <laughs> Putin's Putin's hiding in the closet right now as he is codenamed Thunderfucks rolling thunder down them. Yeah. That's <laughs> a way of the blade. Oh my god. The thought of Reddit going to war is the most amusing shit I've ever heard. Just fantastic. Hey, anybody got hot tips on how not to get fucking murdered? Oh, ha! <laughs> great. Oh, but it's not just, um, it's not just, uh, <laughs> Redditors and Anomalous and, of course, people celebrating uh, George Floyd's life <laughs> that have gone to Ukraine. There are people that are actually already in there reporting from on the ground, like our boy. Coach Red Pill. Now, you can tell it's been hard. There's been a blockade on HRT, so he's not looking the best right now. <laughs> Estrogen withdrawal will do that to you. But he's at a hotel live streaming in the heart of Kevin about what's going on down there. Um, and he actually is uh, in Kiev. Uh, you can check out his telegram, and he's doing streams and shit. Uh, just <laughs> I love this look, by the way. Strikes fear into the hearts of Russians. I'm just imagining a fucking cruise missile blowing the top off of his hotel as he runs down the street in his bathrobe. <laughs> Looking like Miss Doubtfire before she put her makeup on. You know, like this is halfway through the process. That's the look he's rocking in the middle of a war zone. It's good shit. But I think we have a, I think there's a compilation video. We can watch a little bit. Let me, let me just pull this up here. I think I bookmarked it. Oh, God, I hope I did. Oh, I did. Yep. Yep, somebody put up. Uh, okay, there we go. Let's watch a little bit of uh, uh, the war zone coverage from our boy. Uh, I, oh, I can't. yeah, this was my reaction. This is a reporting, by the way, of what's going to happen. This will be the live broadcast on CNN when they talk about what happened to the Redditors that showed up in Ukraine. <laughs> I think it perfectly encapsulates the news coverage we're going to see in a week. Uh, but anyway, our boy. Uh, out there, getting ready, making those big bucks, doing the real uh, deal shit on the heart of Ukraine, live streaming a war. Uh, so let's take a look and see how that's going. Um, I'm right in the heart of Kiev, and uh, the war is coming here. So we'll see how it goes. So here I am at the pool. Yeah, what do you think? I have it all to my lonesome. And uh, uh, let me see, let me just... Uh... <laughs> Maybe that should be, maybe that's like the first sign that this might be a bad idea. Like if you're in a massive hotel and you're like, oh my God, the whole pool and bar area is all to myself. It's probably because all the guests and the staff have run for their lives. <laughs> and you're like, oh, this is bitching. This rocks. I got this whole pool to myself. Show the date there for anybody who is, uh, you know, who thinks that it's not really the date. It is the date. Um, we're expecting the invasion of um, Kiev any day now, any moment now, to tell you the truth. The uh, last word I heard, just before I jump in the pool, is that um, the Russian troops are something like uh, 40 kilometers outside of the city. That's the last I heard. And uh, I'm going to take a swim. <laughs> yes, I know, because there's really nothing I can do. And uh, to tell you the truth, I've been up for the past uh let me see i woke up at six does anybody can anybody find out what uh exact hotel he's at i think he names it in one of his streams like i want to be able to listen to the radio chatter in a couple days when they completely encircle the city i just want to hear if there's like a russian unit like a spetsnaz unit that's like we've infiltrated the hotel and we found one one american man swimming in the pool <laughs> he refuses to leave he's drinking a daiquiri and he has a swarm of drone cameras flying about him he just keeps saying uh, that that uh, women are dogs, and we don't understand why he keeps repeating that. Yesterday morning, and now it's, um, uh, what is it, like a nine something in the morning? And uh, I've only had uh, two hours of sleep. So, you know, I mean, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. And here's the pool before I jump in. So it's about uh, 10, 20 in the morning. 
Yeah, I was in the, I took a swim and I was in the steam room and the sauna for about an hour. And uh, some people might ask, well, why are you doing something so frivolous? Why are you going to the... I don't know, like, and I don't mean to be mean about this. I don't know if it's just the stress of being in a war zone or maybe because he got out of the pool. But why does he look like somebody's Jewish grandma? Doesn't he? Doesn't he look like somebody's Jewish grandma that got up to make them waffles at like fucking eight in the morning? It's a very weird look he's rocking. I don't know what this is. Well, there's a war going on. And well, the obvious answer to that is, you know, what exactly am I supposed to do? Uh, How am I supposed to stop the war? Do I have some magical powers? Uh, And and why am I supposed to worry about it? Uh, That's the real question. The worrying. See, when I was younger, I used to worry. I love the fact, too, that nobody else is in this hotel. He could literally walk into any room he wants. He could upgrade himself. It's like being on a plane by yourself. You're suddenly first class. Nobody's going to fuck with you. Or having a movie theater yourself. Coach should be, like, running from room. He should sleep in every bed but only for a few minutes. And then call room service and be really rude about it. Hey, excuse me. I'm on floor five, six, seven, and 8. And I slept in every fucking bed. Come make them right now. Don't you know the Chechens are coming? And they're going to be very pissed off at how rude you are. Worry about every little fucking thing. I mean, I would worry about this, that, the other. And I would worry about contingencies. What happens if this happens or does not happen? And, and you know, how will that affect my plans? And how will it screw up my life? And blah, blah, blah. And what happened was that I spent so much time worrying that I wasn't enjoying life. Okay? I mean, I was just having a fairly miserable time of it, to tell you the truth. And, um, you know, now, as a much older man, a man with a lot more experience, I suppose, uh, you know, what what do we call our mistakes? We call them experience? Yeah. Well, with a man with a lot more experience, um, I realized that we're... I just, I love the fact that there's a war going on. (laughs) He's in a city that's going to be surrounded. And he's just, he's talking about the amenities and shit. Oh my god, this pool is fantastic. Have you seen this bathrobe? Look at the little scented soaps they have. <laughs> it's just, he's tuned it all out. He doesn't care. I'm having the time of my life at this at this, uh, at this place. This, these are the best accommodations I've ever had. Live, let, love. <laughs> Why worry about it? Have a glass of wine. Now, it's, it's, we're unsure. If Coach will uh, encounter the ghost of Kevin, it's a possibility. Uh, we can jump ahead. I think he does. He goes on the street too. Yeah, there are air raid sirens. Oh, here comes the ghost of Kevin. This is the view from the back of my hotel room, or, or from the window of my hotel room, rather. Uh, I deliberately decided to get a room in the back rather than the front. The front street is. Uh, it was a very nice avenue, but I didn't think it was smart to... I decided to get a room in the uh, the basement of this uh, wonderful hotel, so when the bombs fucking explode it, when they, tr- when they drop their vacuum bombs that suck the lungs out of your nose, right on top of my accommodations, um, I'll be the only one to live and enjoy this wonderful pool. <laughs> I've, decided, I've decided the basement was the way to go. ...to get it. Uh, just after I finished recording the previous video... I started hearing the uh, air raid sirens. Mm-hmm. Now, um, I'm guessing that uh, combat around uh, Ukraine is getting closer because it seems to be like like ongoing running battles as the Russian army tries to get closer to Kiev. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to do this quick quick video so that you guys could hear that, yeah. I, I, I absolutely love the fact that he's doing this. I hope he does more of these, to be honest with you. <laughs> just why not uh you're in the middle of a war zone fuck it a live i mean he, he he is he's from the ukraine right he lives there um so at least i believe he does so it makes what you know it's not like he traveled there for the fun of it uh why not uh turn lemons into lemonade you know maybe maybe uh try to uh, do a couple vlogs with the chechens when they, when they show up uh when those ballistic missiles are exploding overhead just 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 hanging out at the pool. If you're hey, if you're in the Ukraine, if you're in the city of Kevin, uh, go have a daiquiri with Coach. Just hang out at the pool uh, and chill. <laughs> Just relax, have a good time. Fuck it. Oh my god. 
Things are getting crazy out there. That's our intrepid on-the-ground reporter, Coach Redpill, again, from the heart of Ukraine in the city of Kevin, uh, giving us our, our, our daily, weekly updates on what's going on. Uh, you know what? I'll check Twitter just for the hell of it on the off chance that... Um, <laughs> I don't know. On the off chance, more crazy shit's happened. Why wouldn't it have happened? Why it would terribly... Weird shit not have happened. Let's see. Let's see what uh, happened while we were streaming. Have nukes gone off? I don't know. Uh, Ukraine's ambassador to the U.S. claims Russia has used a vacuum bomb in the country. Oh, rip coach. Uh, Monaco to impose sanctions. Oh, always fun. Ukraine's foreign minister says U.S. Secretary of State assured him more weapons to Ukraine and sanctions on Russia. Finland's parliament will tomorrow debate prospect of joining NATO. Yeah, everybody's joining the EU and NATO. I'll just jump it in. Country receives satellite receivers from Elon Musk's Starlink, facilitating a boost to internet service. A Maxar satellite imagery shows Russian military convoy north of Kiev, I'm sorry, Kevin, is around 40 miles long. That's from the Spectator Index. I'm sorry, let me just re let me say that one more time for the chat. Satellite imagery shows Russian military convoy north of the city is around 40 miles long. Not 40 miles away, 40 miles long. <laughs> I think Putin, let me pull that picture up again. I think he's decided to go all in on this shit. I think he might be a little, might be a little bit upset. Uh, Japan imposing more sanctions after their fishing vessel got blown up with that uh, Moldovian vessel. Uh, this one's interesting. Canada to ban all oil imports from Russia. I'm not sure. Uh, you know what? I don't even think, you know, I'm going to say this. I think Canada's banning imports of oil from Russia, not because they want to, you know, uh, deal with the Ukraine or the Ukraine situation. I think they're so fucked up over the honking stuff that, like, in Justin Trudeau's mind, he thinks, if I get rid of all the oil, their trucks won't work, and they can't honk at me anymore. It comes back. You see that? You see how we ended the stream? We've circled back. We started talking about how people in Ottawa are have PTSD from phantom honking, and we end it with an update about the war going on and how Canada won't import oil because they don't want to have any more trucks run because they're sick of the honking. It just plays into itself. Everything's so beautifully enmeshed with one another. <laughs> so, yeah, it's right, chat. It's a fucking honkers. I, I'm telling you, it's those goddamn fucking honkers. Oh, man. What a roundup. I don't even know what next month's going to look like. I'll be honest with you, chat. I mean, what, what are we looking at here? You know, we had January where there were a bunch of protests and uh, honking nonstop going on in Canada. And then it was kind of picking up a little bit of steam. You're seeing it a little bit in Europe and then in America. And then everything kind of got tabled, right? Because then we got the Ukraine-Russia situation where he's pushing in from the north through Belarus and through the south through Crimea and the Donbass region in the east. So I, I, I don't know. Does it keep escalating? Will the ruble collapse? Is Vlad going to push the button and send 6,000 little presents to everybody in the world? Uh, we'll never know. <laughs> well, you never know how it's going to turn out. Is it going to be? A, is it going to be a Russian victory, a Ukrainian victory? You're going to have to wait for the next month recap or recap stream to figure it out, my fellow chat butts. All I know is the spirit of anime is pushing Vlad on. As the ghost of Kiev is, I'm sorry, ghost of Kevin is up in the air, uh, teaching people the strength of a beautiful black woman. And engraving her name into uh, herstory. <laughs> ah, Sonic. Future's looking bright. I mean, technically that's true. We pull through the situation, everything's sunshine and roses. If Vlad launches every nuke he has, it's going to technically be a bright future anyway. You know, irradiated, but bright. That sign does not lie. And that is why it's fucking Chud Energy. Now, I've got uh, Super Chats to read, of course, uh, so we'll do that. Uh, hopefully, you've enjoyed this month recap stream. Um, I don't know if Ralph is going to get angry again, and so we might have another Ralph segment next month because now he's back on the warpath. I don't know if Putin's going to push the button and nuke the shit out of everything. I don't know if our ghost of Kevin is going to single-handedly defeat the entire Russian army all by herself. It's a fucking possibility. You just never know what's going to happen, do you? But we will uh, we'll read the Super Chats uh, before the world ends here. 
just get them all lined up. Go back to the first ones here. And then I'll mark it as a section. Uh, oh, sorry, chat. One second here. Oh, you know, before that, before everybody takes off, because now we're getting to the super chat section of this, let me just put the um, put a little thing up so everybody knows here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, before we read these and everybody uh, and decides to take off, or those who stick around, stick around. Can I get a P in chat for pray? Can we pray for Coach Red Pill, our intrepid on the ground Kevin reporter? and the heart of the conflict zone in Ukraine. Not many YouTubers would fly out or stay in a war zone, but our boy is there drinking a daiquiri, hanging out at poolside in his fucking robe, rocking the Jewish grandma look, not giving a fuck. There are Chechens with flamethrowers coming to that city, and Coach does not give a single fuck. All right, he's he's there to have some fucking r, &R, &R time. That's right, chat. Let's get a P and pray for that motherfucker. The value of coach coins going to go up straight through the fucking roof. Because our boy is fearless, not giving a single fuck. <laughs> a few RIPs, too. Okay. Well, we'll begin the Super Chat thing. Um, thanks, everybody, for coming out. Again, make sure to buy a hat. None of the money goes to anybody else because I'm a greedy fuck. Fuck them kids. Keeping it all. All staying over here. Uh, I'll read super chats in a second. Let me let me uh, put on some some break music. I'm gonna grab another drink because uh, I've got a few to work through here. What what music should we listen to? What oh you know what why don't I just listen to this? It was our Reddit theme song for when they go into battle. You know so fuck it we'll just listen to this anyway. All right, and then uh, when I get back we will uh, read through the super chats. Whoa! early back early before the actual song is done hacking my lungs up again i've been hacked by anonymous i'm sorry hey if you cover ukraine they're going to come for you so let's get these let's get these set up and ready to go here uh from point curation hope you and chad have been doing well funny times these days lots to laugh about uh, i completely agree we're having we got to keep that chud energy up got to keep on the positive side of life got to embrace the white pill even if that white pill is thuma or thermonuclear from polyfrog 64. Now that Putin is putting nukes in Belarus, do you think we're going to be on the brink of world war three? I guess it really comes down to what Putin's goal is here. I've seen a lot of people say that he wants to create some kind of a, uh, uh, a, a, a reunified or rejoined uh, Russia of Russia, Ukraine and Belarus together as one, one thing. There was some article that got released ahead of time, uh, where they were talking about two days in, how that was going to be what his goal had been. 
I don't know how true that is. Listen, there's a, a shit ton of propaganda out there on both sides. That's just the reality of it. Uh, any war, you're going to see that, but especially this situation. So I have no idea. I mean, is there a ghost of Kevin up there shooting down Russians? Maybe. Maybe there's an ace pilot up there. Have they taken out 42 fighter planes? Probably not. Um, you know, have uh, uh, did, did sailors on an island say, fuck you, battleship, or whatever the fuck it was? Uh, maybe. Uh, did they all die doing it? No, it doesn't look like they did. So, you know, I, I, I don't know. There's going to be, and I've seen a lot of people posting videos that are from other conflicts. It's just, it's all over the place. Who knows what the fuck is going to happen. But you can still have some entertainment and watch. Uh, from uh, Chimera, here's some shekels for my favorite weatherman. Uh, Kaiju sent some stickers. Caleb Lambright, I miss your art contest uh, where we can send you art. So you need to see the Tickle documentary. It's real. I think we watched the Tickle documentary back on Streamy. And art contests are a bitch to run. Listen, I did that before, and it was a fucking nightmare. Um, everybody was super talented. Like, when I did the contest and stuff on Streamy for, like, um, music and art and all the other stuff, like, people that sent in submissions did amazing stuff, and I, I didn't mind giving out prizes. Um, but the problem was, like, certain people needed them sent in certain ways, uh, and it became, like, a clusterfuck. You know, I tried just doing cash, and then I tried doing, like, gift cards, uh, and it was just... Kind of a nightmare. But yeah, some of the art, though, was fucking phenomenal for those contests. The Tonka stuff was really just unreal. Uh, from Kill All Pedos, Fired Up. Ashton Apps, you dropped your dogs. Brett Bauer. Suey, Rage Pig, Suey. From V, have a shekel and stay safe. From Clifford Bates, what do you think of Coach Red Pill being stuck in uh, Kevin when Russia invades and still shilling for Putin, even calling Zelensky evil for not surrendering? Well, I, I didn't catch that. I knew he was out there hanging out at the pool. I don't know if I'd be in the middle of a war zone giving my political opinions when two sides are fighting literally 10 miles from me. <laughs> I might just not say anything. Uh, from some fagut, a uh, little over a year since inauguration, we're practically on the verge of nuclear war. At least the cons were pwned epidemic. Am I right? From Carnizzle. It's a good thing that COVID is so bad that no one would think of starting anything or no one would think of doing anything like starting an invasion in Europe. From Landachi, hey, Potato N, here's some money for weed and liquor. Big ups. Also, any thoughts on making another Wings video with all this ridiculous shit going on? Um, I think all the clip channels are doing a pretty good job of that. Well, you know, with like DSP and Wings and stuff, um, it was fun doing a video about some of their shenanigans. And other people have done like really in-depth documentaries, just like with Chris Chan and shit. Uh, but I think clipping channels are probably the best, you know, the best way to go about it. Because there's so much ridiculous shit that goes on daily. Uh, that being able to watch, like, montages is pretty entertaining. You know, when it comes to wing, like wings banning people or getting into weird situations. Or when it comes to, like, DSP not knowing how to play a video game. Uh, from what I understand, he got stuck on the Tree Sentinel and Elden Rings for, like, two hours. Trying to fist fuck it naked or something. I don't know. Uh, but I'm sure somebody made a, a montage of that. Which sounds fantastic to watch. Uh, from some kind of taco, the ghost of Keef just flew over my house. From Shigoki, hope you're loving the year of the Chud so far, Jim. Shit just gets crazier by the minute. Also, can you tell my boy Ink that he's my number one Chud bo <laughs> bud? Uh, well, Ink, uh, Shigoki, uh, who I'm probably mispronouncing, is your number one Chud bud. From Duplis1919, here's something for you. Uh, here's something for you, Augie. Jokes aside, I hope you and Jade are doing fine. Also, did you know the Gunt is trying to worm up to your good side again? It's probably not going to after today's stream. From Catherine Khan, it's a good day. Whistling wheat fields. I can't catch a stream live. Just got into an uh, intense acorn fight and I'm in the emergency room. Good thing I'm covered under Medicare. From Zimzam Flimflam, Chud plus stud equals Chud. Metacorn, Ludicorn archives. Putin, okay, I don't dislike Ukraine, but it may be time to sacrifice Ukraine to the corn. We can't have to sacrifice to, uh, Ukraine to the gods. The corn will be bountiful this year. From Drew McTugh, uh, has anyone tried reporting Kiro to the ATF? I hear they do great work with dogs. From Kid Napa, long live the Chuds, happy year of the Chud. Jim, here's a pack on me. From Pysik, I'm going to Chud. Metacord and Linacord's archives again. Um, historically, there was an ethnic group in Russia called Chuds. Year of the Chud just got new meaning. Uh, Richard Gruber throwing out an N. Probably trying to start a tower in chat, but this is from a while ago, so I don't know how successful it was. From K Knives, the merge is on. Moderator Marcy, did Ethan share... Did Ethan try to show up, and if he did, would you get Jade to coof on him? 
I hope she's doing okay. You should try and get her on sometime. Uh, no, Ethan did not show up, and uh, there's been no coofing attacks. From Commander Wizard IRL, all hail the glorious hat salesman of Kiev. Uh, from Barge, the donation, thanks. Okay, nice again. The dimensional merge is on. From Burn Burn, hey Jim, have you heard of the Quebecese? A uh, crypto bro who, uh, with affluent family ties and pension for posting lewds of his 11 year old sis, at BurnBro8 for info. <clears throat> uh, no, no, I haven't, I guess. I, is that like a big thing going on right now? I, you know, I kind of, I guess I kind of miss that with the whole war shit going on. Uh, from Shigoki, Ukraine claiming they're wiping out hundreds of Russian tanks and troops reminds me a lot of Baghdad Bob and all the crazy shit he said back in 2003. From Bulk Bogan, Jim Jones was based and killed a whole town. From Uriah Wright, Happy Kang's History Month. From Bystander, hey Jim. Did you notice that Russia invaded on Christian's 40th birthday? Uh, yes, I did. At least I believe it was like right at the tail end of it. Because everybody was talking about it, and we've already had a bunch of dimensional merge comments. That's what happens. You put Christian in jail on his birthday, and the whole world goes to shit. You can call me Al. Damn it, I'm at work for two more hours. From Uncle Hall, hey Jim. Will the Bully of the Week hoodies be making return on Teespring? I wasn't able to grab one before they went out. Uh, yeah, so here's what happened. Uh, on the last stream, I put up different merchandise with uh, decent-looking little, you know, hoodies and jackets that uh, said Chud Bud, and on the back said Bully of the Week. And then, mysteriously, uh, they got pulled down. So it turns out if you put the word Bully into any of your products on Teespring, uh, that gets it removed. So <laughs> I can't put it on Teespring. I did find a separate store, a different service altogether, and I'm trying to make, uh, actually has better products too, to be honest. Uh, and I'm trying to get stuff set up there. So maybe by the time the March stream rolls around, there will be better quality hats and Bully the Week hoodies will be back for sale. I don't know. No promises, but that's uh, that's the situation. From Aaron's Vice, James Drake from Union Bridge is an army boy liker. Also go play Katana Zero, you boomer. From Dable, or David Hamilton, Jim's here. From Hickey Byrne, I'm scared, Jimbo. From Lith Hoth, uh, <laughs> NNRU, when is our next 24 hour op to trigger the libs? Own the libs. 077989. Jim is playing Elden Rings on a no game station. For shame, Jim, for shame. From Easy Oven Operator, this stream brought to you by Pfizer, your health, our choice, also by Raytheon. When it comes to profits, we make killings. Son of Tiamat, PPP finally got his wish. Jim tore into Ralph. From Josh Sketch Show, afternoon, Jim. Been doing well in college this year. Been animating cartoons with your 2018-19 streams. I love your sped dating stuff so much. Do you think we could ever watch more of those? Or watch the strange things about the Johnsons? Um, YouTube is super restrictive about being able to do stuff. In fact, today I was going to do a, a speed run on Twitch to see how fast it took to get banned. Uh, we'll have to do that next month. Um, I would have to do it on a, a, a different service. I don't know what that would be. Is that going to be... Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Uh, where where would I do it? Uh, to be able to to say uh, funny things that we want to say. Uh, what what are we going to do that on? I mean, Stream Me was pretty great in the fact that it let you do that. Um, everybody else, I I don't know. It's a shit show, man. I don't know what to tell you. I'd like to do it, but I don't know if I'd be able to do it. Uh, Jake from State. Hey, Jim, can we get H Bomber guy story from back in the day asking for a friend? I think I'm out of those stories. I mean, really, it was a limited amount of exposure. Uh, we're both on the same uh, forum for a while. He was friends with Haberman because we were both uh, goons from SA. And, um, yeah, I mean, you can look up the older streams where I kind of talk about it. Metacore's Lunacord Archives. Turns out everyone on Snake Island got captured instead of dying. This Fog of War current year edition is 100 times worse than what is it was back in the day, to the point where you can't believe anything now. From Michael Lech. Happy Cold War 2.0, Heath J. Hey, Jim, can you call my buddy John a dirty wagon burner? Well, there you go, John. From uh, Gornal's Best JoJo 1, love your streams, keep up the hustle. From Big Guy Packin' and AK Jimbo, uh, ho Halls, love them so. The Ninja Sasquatch, hey, Jim, what's your favorite story or troll from Medicare you remember uh, or saw or took part in? I vaguely remember a story where a guy stuck something up his butt to get his passwords back. Oh, holy shit, yeah. <laughs> fuck uh that was oh my god i don't know if i want to go into that story 
Uh, so there was a member of Medicare, uh, LMTE, who was also a sysop on Ed for a while, back when DeGrippo ran things before it all imploded. And there was this dude um, where he he social engineered it somehow to get his passwords because uh, he, he didn't hack or anything like that. So he, he got his passwords to all. <laughs> God, this is vicious. <clears throat> so LMTE got his passwords to all his accounts, to like his YouTube and his Facebook and all this other shit. And um, told the guy, God, I, I think I'm remembering this right. Told the guy something to the effect of, I'll give you them back if you do videos for me. And got the guy to shove a coat hanger up his ass. And then instead of giving him his passwords and accounts back, went on every one of his pass, you know, every one of his accounts, his Facebook and everything, and messaged his family and said, are you proud of me now? And linked them to the video of him fucking himself with a coat hanger. <laughs> Sent it to his dad, sent it to his mom and his brother, people at his fucking church, his friends, his family, everybody. The guy thought he was going to get his account back, and instead, now they all got a video from him shoving a coat hanger up his ass. I believe that is a story you're referring to. <laughs> yes, that's what he said. Are you proud of me? Are you proud of me now? <laughs> so, oh, fuck, man. Oh. That was, God, that was fuck. That was a long time ago. Um, to people saying no way in chat, I do believe those videos are still up somewhere on the internet. I can't remember what account he put them on. See, that was a, what would happen kind of day to day is somebody would pop in and make a thread about, hey, here's this funny thing I did. And I think that was, he just one day made a thread and he's like, hey guys, didn't really mention this before, but... I've been working on this thing for like a month. What do you think? And it's this dude fucking himself with a coat hanger. And I think he put those videos up on like, like Pornhub or X videos. I, they're probably still out there somewhere. They're out there somewhere. There's an archive on ad somewhere where the whole story is laid out in full detail. I might be misremembering certain parts, but that's the story I think you're talking about. Uh, from Eric Wang, the ghost of Queef <laughs> just flew by my house. Infinite Slick. Hey, Zero, I heard you got a new Jeep Wrangler. That's a great car. Don't listen to the chill stream discord. Call you an F slur from X or from X epic X Yoshi X sub Jimbo, or should I say Jim Tintin? Oh yeah, boy. I know your name. I'm going to go to your house and move Jade's cage and mix your manga from bees. The cat Sam Hyde and Putin are in bed together, throwing them bombs from the Bobinator. Kevin just flew over my house and called me a dork from Pimpinier. Hey, Mr. Maname. Would you consider doing uh, another morning show like you used to on DLive? I, I, again, um, I got kicked off of DLive because uh, moderators, the Lemon Emperor's moderators, got mad at me. Um, as for Stream Me, it doesn't exist anymore. So I don't know what to tell you. Uh, people in the chat still talking about the coat hanger up the ass. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a hell of a thing. <laughs> uh, God, the experiment failed. Jim, the killer shark in another world, and uh, Nice, uh, Saikon, Monogod. I can't pronounce moon runes. You know that. You've heard me try to phonetically say this shit, and it sounds like I'm having a stroke. Anyway, top tier, Asaki garbage, right up your alley, I promise. Uh, killer shark in another world, that's a comedy one, right? Where a little girl gets one as a summon and like turns into a three headed version of Jaws and kills everyone, because that was pretty good. From Pilot, oh, Elden Ring, I doubt you could even imagine. From Kristen Chavez, Jim, please don't say the gamer word in the first five minutes again. From Domination Animation, oh, what did Susan make you do to get your Super Chats back? Uh, it only got turned to an adults-only stream. That's why they got shut off last time. It got a little too spicy, I guess. The Space Cowboy 33, Sam Hyde, can't get away, keep getting away with it. From Scarecrow 709, Ola Papa Jim just wanted to check out Cyrax. He's Incest Ross, who literally does duck out mad tones of laughs. You'll love it. Cerberus Matt throwing out a donation. God, the experiment failed again. Also doing me a massive solid call. Adam, a faggot. You'd be doing me a favor and saving me time. From Black Daddy, make sure you wear your face mask when the nukes drop. From Captain Texas 1, penal battalions. Handing out AK or AKs, female soldier propaganda, desperate measures kept afloat from Western arms. Cringe and false propaganda. Are we sure Ukraine isn't USSR's successor? Love you, Jim. From Kayla, or Kayla Overshone, popping my super chat. Cherry, God bless. 
from Mr. Yes. Coach Red Pill, a.k.a. Gonzala, is stuck in Kiev, and he needs help fighting his way back to America. Oh, we watched him today, hanging out in his bathrobe, not giving a fuck. From Joshua Roberts, thanks for all your hard work through the years. Keep up the great work, champ. Centauri 120, Jim, Dark Ages are coming ahead, but the spirit of the Chuds won't die. Take this money and get more cigarette boxes for the bunker. I will do. From Red Chud, or Red Chud over Paradise, imagine being stuck in a fallout shelter with Ralph. From Kami Catcher 5000, four inches, size matters, Jim, don't settle for less. From Hard Light, the origin of it uh, of this is Mersh, isn't it? Hi, Mersh. So we never get the porcelain documentary. I believe he's still working on that. Um, again, it was Mersh that said Porcelain would never get over 25,000 views. And I believe with the trailer and the interview together, it's almost at 150,000 now. And the documentary's not even out yet. I'm actually really looking forward to it because I, I, you know, I'm sure he's put it together uh, in a, a way that's going to make it funny as shit. And it's probably going to be long as fuck, which why not? Uh, but yeah, I think he's working on it. The last time I checked, it was like he said it'd be like three or four weeks. Um, so probably sometime in the beginning of March, like the first two weeks, my guess, I don't know. He hasn't said that specifically from Sess, Uh, I bet a coworker, you will show up for the Russian Ukrainian show. Your return has made me 200 beaner dollars more rich. Thanks, Jim. And trans writes a woo from server as much. Don't worry, Jim. I've already charged. I've already archived Megley's insane schizo videos for black history month. He'll survive the fallout from all hope is lost. Russia will take Ukraine. China will take Taiwan and Brandon will take a nap. From Logar Apologist, hey Pops, you have time for being a guest on more streams. Your stuff with Arcada was extra comfy. Read the word of the unbreaded uh, daddy Jim. From Roker Boy, the guy behind Ghost of Kiev is a War Thunder CC, lies a lot, always blames his Discord users when he gets caught lying, did it this time too. Uh, I don't know. I know she's a proud black woman taking the Russians out one sassy head shake at a time. From Enix, so how does the war factor into the year of the Chud? Just makes it more awesome. From Brett Bauer, rip coach Red Pill, he grifted, or his grifter cringe will be missed. From James Smith, why are you building a fallout shelter? The radiation will kill your cancer. Well, you know what? I hadn't considered that, but I should be standing outside when the bombs drop. From Joseph Jiminy's, a banana. Well, thank you. From Infinite Slick, shout out to uh, Avon Chartsdale, Satan, Koto Max, and Multi. Also, cheap Wranglers are Chad Cars and not gay at all. Seriously. From Mellow E, good hearing you again. I hope you're well. From My Coco Dog 47, I'm horrified what radiation will turn DSP into. From Fa Qua, I don't know how to say this too. Hopefully, Minneapolis won't be hit with a nuke. Stay safe, Jim. Um, I believe, actually, in Minnesota, there are, let me see. So there's the Twin Cities, which are three or four targets, uh, Duluth, which is two or three. Um, there is a nuclear facility out is it west and then northwest and a couple air bases in the west i think they're like 10 to 12 targets in minnesota you're safer in wisconsin actually if i'm right north dakota and south dakota are just fucked um because of various reasons but yeah minnesota's kind of peppered everywhere you want to be like in the dead center of the state or you want to fuck off into wisconsin from rush popst uh, Asimov Italian wishes they were the Sweetie Squad. Mr. Regu the Great. Jim, have you heard a new site called Lockers? It's a cool place with free products, but hurry, you need an invite. Oh, there's a there's a fucking name from the past. From Taiga Garcia. Jim, hear me out. I think Putin will get the medicine, <laughs> medicine Nobel Prize for curing the world of COVID-19. That is a possibility. From Charles Mack. Jim, thanks for mentioning one of my favorite TV movie threads. Uh, honorable mention goes out to the day after and the stand. Uh, from JB, Jim, cancer isn't an excuse. It's time to take the fight to Moscow. China's admirer. Hey, Jim, do you think UBI is good? Why or why not? You mean universal basic income? I, I, I don't know if we're going to have enough money for that once the nukes land and nothing's working anymore. <laughs> we're all going to be digging in the dirt for potatoes. From Joseph Jimenez, tell daddy uh, how big you are. <laughs> are, are you? From the nin, uh, Ninja Sasquatch, Metal Gear Solid 6, the Phantom Honk. From Dro Leo 420, first Russia could compete in the World Cup, but couldn't uh, be patriotic. Now they're just banned. From Chris Braun, hope your year is going great so far. Thanks for the a year of great content, Jim. From E1000 Mega 123, that dude looks exactly how you'd expect somebody complaining about Hawks to look. Joestar 81, that's not a man, that's a woman with a beard. 
from Venaris. Uh, Jim is Jim is my dad coming back from getting cigarettes, except Jim actually came back from Hubris. Uh, why are we still here just to suffer? Honk. From Enix. Uh, this just came in for the most trusted name and news. CNN, Headwear Cure, Super AIDS, Cancer, and Ligma. Buy hat now for your loved ones. Trust the science. 26K down the drain. Want to get live updates on the Ukrainian-Russian war? Visit our sounding for actual not safe for work war footage from the Ukrainian front. I think you might be trolling me. I'm not I'm not sure about that chat. Everybody should go to our sounding to get those live updates from the Ukrainian front. Trust this guy. I think he knows what he's talking about. Uh, Infinite Slick. Jim, how is your health? I'm hoping you beat this thing and make a full recovery. Also, what do you think about Jeep Wrangler's 4x4 cylinder turbocharged version? Also, something Bam Bam. Uh, uh, I just keep on keeping on. As for Jeep Wranglers, I wouldn't know. I don't I don't buy Jeeps. So to Tiamat, how pissed uh, were you that Netflix canceled Marco Polo before we could get a third season? Uh, I thought Marco Polo was great, and Netflix is just fucking stupid when it comes to what they... Uh, what they renew. At least Vito got to enjoy cuties, am I right? Uh, E-1000, Mega 123, Freddy Fosbar is being airdropped in Kiev right now. Russians in full retreat from Millie. Hey, Jim, seen Sex Nephew's take on Putin. Hasn't gassed anyone yet, so he's not that bad, am I right? Also, post-traumatic honking disorder is real. Don't be a bigot. From 99, Kransnik, like how Trudeau lost to a main country, Ty Colon. Uh, Giantus admirer. Hey, Jim, do you say the new Mario movie will be okay? I have no idea if the new Mario movie will be okay or not. Uh, could be awesome, could be shit. Who knows? From my Coco Dog 47 oh no, I'm consuming. From Anon, these streams are ripoffs of Mad at the Internet. From Oliver Brandon, what happened to Bully the Week merch? You should put Putin's face on the next lot. From James Kirk, Big Brain Moves, or <laughs> Big Brain Moves Cancer Man. The Money Madge, or Money Badgers would be proud. From Obero, the epic. Hey, Jim. I'm at work and I can't really hear your voice. Here's the extra crispy year of the chud for the rest of 2022. From Tiago Garcia, for every dollar I give Jim, Mersh Goiter grows larger. From Grimpify, I'm going to Ralph's wedding in Dallas. Mersh will be there. If I bring some of your merch, do you think I can Mersh to sign it? Oh, that would be fantastic. You should, uh, you should ask him to sign it. Ask him if he's a chud bud. Just don't explain what that is. Just be like, are you a chud bud? Will you sign this for me? From Pill Grimm, I work on a highway in St. Louis, Missouri. Lots of people going west than east. Away from the city, jokes on them. Nukes are more likely to hit there. From Judgment, Cassie, can you make your voice louder when you play audio on a video? With audio, I'm going deaf from the difference in volumes. Fix it, Vatnik. Hello. Uh, no, see, that's part of the plan. It's to confuse you. Ghost of Recon, here's for another pack of coffin nails, Jim. From Sim Figgett. Uh, we're not even one-fourth the way through 2022. I think November is going to be the crescendo event if we're not a pile of radioactive ash. From Abby, your mic is way too low. From Bleach Monkey Inc., I made Ralph-related meme videos in your replies on Twitter at Google Drive link Ethan.mp4. Why do I feel like this is going to be a shitload of dolphin porn? From Andrew B., hope you're feeling better, man. Sebastian Anon, hey, Jim, do you think Russia was baited into invading Ukraine to hasten the Great Reset? It would explain why Russia is exploring nuclear options already so early in this conflict. They know it's them versus the elites. No, I don't believe Russia was baited. Um, I think this is... I, I don't know exactly what Putin is thinking. I can't read his fucking mind, so I couldn't tell you. Uh, but I believe this... He ha, he he went in because he has a plan, and what that plan is, I have no idea. My guess is uh, that plan is not going as well as he was hoping it would. How well the resistance is, I don't know. Again, like I said, there's so much propaganda on every side. Best of luck figuring it out. Chud, year of the year. I sent a super chat to you, Chud Bud, years ago about Australia burning down. Now Australia is drowning. Can we get another F in chat for Australia? Well, apparently, chat, Australia is now drowning as well as burning. And Chud, year of the ch or Chud, year of the year would like a uh, an F. Can we get him an F? Probably, I don't know. I have to wait for everything to catch up to be able to tell you if you get one or not. Uh, nice to lizards. Can we get a version of the new shirt with the moon speak and the uh, sweetie squad on the front? If someone is going to try to punch me, I'd rather it be from the front. <laughs> that's, you know, it's a fair point. Pauly Frog 64 are you rooting for Russia or Ukraine? I'm just having fun watching the fireworks. I say let them fight. 
I've got no dog in this fight. I'm just, uh, I'm watching it because I don't know where it's going to go. I just hope that, you know, if the nukes start flying, they at least wait like three or four days so I can finish Elden Rings. Can can we do that? Could Putin, could you wait three or four days before you push the button? Uh, from Commissar Warder. Hey, Jim, love the stream. Are we officially in the Boulder King's redemption arc? I don't know about a redemption arc, but uh, he did get his shot in at the very end there. <laughs> he, got, he got his revenge for all those years ago. From Co44RE. Can't think of a better apocalypse scenario than having my fellow potato narrate it for us. Thank you for the years of entertainment, Jim. It's been an honor. Evil Bunny. Got my pill bottle right chair, Daddy Jim. Shake, shake. And Bunny Bunny. From Polyfrog64. Have you fallen for all the fake news about Ukraine? There's no war in Ukraine. It's all Arma 3 footage. Realistic CGI. I'm not falling for it, CIA. Uh, it's possible. It's nothing but uh, a giant psyop of Arma 3. Actually, it's a marketing campaign for Arma 4. Commissar Wardor Sui from Michael just wanted to say uh, up yours, Mersh. Enjoy a pack of cables on me, Jimbo. Gil all pedals. I co-sign every word of this amazing production. Sui! I'm sure that's going to get clipped and used to piss somebody off. From Luca Franza. Am I dreaming Papa James is back? From WD. Heard you and Jade got married, champ. Proud of you both. Any future plans, house, kids, other American dream items? Take my money and treat her nice. Uh, like I said, we're going to lead line a fucking fallout shelter and ride out the apocalypse together. From some kind of taco, Ralph is going to get blown the fuck out by James Augustine. From Larry Bernard, imagine, lads, we lived in the World War Chud. What a time to be alive. You know, Miles RRU from Walter Deadman. When we were fighting the Rage Pig, I was waiting for him to slip up and call you dad on air. Or when you were fighting him, I was waiting for you to say, or him to call you dad on air. Uh, it would have been weird, wouldn't it? From Pisic, Jim, your lungs aren't supposed to squeak. That's what they do. It's a feature. All right, that's a feature that's been installed. From Brian and Sarah, not my daddy. From Fort Chanimal, I can't, I can't say that. Something Bobby Hill. From Austin Miller, are we a fixin' to holler? Glad you're not dead, Jim. Or are you buy a hat? From Charles Johnson, Janny Jush one. From Hone Moore twenty five twenty five Flairf Gang. From Mr. Kermetto, Jim, you should make a poll for chat. Should Ethan Ralph enlist an aide for the Ukrainian army and fight on the front lines to own CRP? You know what? I can do that. Let me chat. Let's do let's do a, a poll based on the super chat. Um, <laughs> should Ethan go fight for Ukraine to own CRP? And, uh, well, let me see who, uh, Mr. Carmetto. A little Christian history there. We'll see what chat says. We'll see what their uh, final verdict on this is. Oh, looks like overwhelmingly they support the idea of teaching the A-logs. <laughs> Ethan, to own the A-logs, you have to go enlist in the Ukrainian army. It's the only way to teach CRP a fucking lesson. Did you see him in his bathrobe mocking you? It's time to get your free AK-47 from the Ukrainian army. Join the Redditors and rush into Kevin. Liberate it. Well, based so far on the chat's reaction, I'd say that they are overwhelmingly in support, Mr. Kermetto, of Ethan going to Ukraine to own CRP by joining the International Legion that they've, uh, <laughs> that they've uh, created. Uh, Kaz back on Discord. Gang Tobacco, rise up from Salus. You uh, you mean James Augustin from CNET Arbuckle. I have a friend in Ukraine who I've been in contact with these last couple of days, and he's been telling me of his Ukrainian sailor guy. Oh, I've I actually read this before. Uh, Dunstan, PPP is a mega chat. Kami Catcher 5000 for the Zannyberry Fund from Tom Strutz. Zannyberry Fund for shaking from Judgment Kazi. Do you know any good channels to watch Cringe? I, I don't know. I'm sure there are good compilation channels out there. Um, I've mostly been listening to audiobooks. I listen to audiobooks on YouTube, and then I play Elden Ring. That's what I've been doing for the last day or so. Ghost of Recon, I'm from Kentucky, and that guy sounds like he's got an uncle daddy. Butter Nugget, let's give him, let's give it to them family style. The Cassie B, can you say hi to Hayden? Hello, Hayden. From Arnekas uh, Einbrecht. 
There's a guy on the net called Liam Gray. Read his Kiwi Farms thread for a good laugh. Papa Jimbo. Hashtag romance. Hashtag sexuality tyrannosaurus. From Fox Trot. You owe money to my associate, Herr Strauss. From Tr <laughs> from Tony, or Tommy Strutz. Your borderline ex is on the phone again. It's about the bottle shaking. From WD, tell my buddy or my buddy Matt F to get off that dang boat and watch your dang stream. From Lord Basilisk, Jim, or uh, glad you're back to taking scalps, Jimbo. Here's a fiver on my chud, bud. Miss that classic IBS era banter. From Kill All Petals, Jim, this is Ethan Ralph's life. You are a life ruinationing him by shaking those bottles. From Animation Unlimited, Mr. Medicare. So who is more fun to laugh at, Ralph or Tonka? Uh, well, that's a tough question, isn't it? I, I think Tonka, in a way, and here's my reasoning on this, because he's still doing streams. Like, you know, Tonka had this huge implosion, right? And his streams, like, he went from, I don't know, like 5,000, 6,000 people watching him. But then he alienated a huge portion of his audience. The whole fight thing was a shit show. Uh, everything went tits up. And now I think the only people that watch him, it's nothing but Jannies, right? Isn't his entire like stream him streaming to his Jannies? So it's like him and two or three co-hosts and then like four or five people watching, but they're all wrenched. And it's been like that for like two years now. And it's really fucking weird. You'd think he'd just be like, fuck it, I'm done. From Mr. Fufu 143 Ralph's revenge plan was to get you laid. From Beguile Me, love you, Farmer Jim, keep it up. Okay, I think, yeah, some of these I read earlier. Uh, Kill All Pedos, press N to throw nickels at Ralph. From Reno Miles, Jim, can I get a, a woo for my friend Domino in chat? From Oren, prepare for my most fierce hollering yet, old man. From Hugh Briss, show me on the doll where the cartoon touched you. Okay, yes, I have read some of these now. It's when I took uh, the break earlier. Animation Unlimited. Jim, to Ralph, search your feelings. Yep, see, now, where are we getting a little... Uh, okay, here we go. Rakeda Law. Jim, you will not recover from the article or the cancer... <laughs> Jim, will you not recover from this article or the cancer aids first? I don't know. This article, these articles, uh, the smoke and the fear, which sound like Metal Gear bosses, don't they? It's like, it's Metal Gear 6, uh, the fear and the smoke sound like fucking boss fights don't they uh they were pretty devastating i got fucked up pretty hard on that uh in fact shit nah, let me check the poll now it went on for five minutes let's see what our total is should ethan go fight in the ukraine to own crp 97 percent overwhelmingly said yes he should three percent said no looks like he's going to war boys looks like he's going to war from Kasi Jeep, be right back. Gonna go play the new COD 2 or COD Warzone 2 Real Life Edition that came out recently. Donating for good luck and getting top number one. From Sir Altlich, got any better or got any better to do actual vids for Apocalypse? Transtastic. Much love from Leafland. They're gonna put new mandates in September here. Fuck me. Um, I, I, I get, well, Trudeau is boycotting uh, the importation, right, of Russian oil. Uh, which means no honking for anybody. I don't know if they're going to have the ability to mandate anything uh, when there's no fuel for anything. But at least that fucking honking's gone. From Zach, will Daddy Jim ever go on PKA again? I had fun last time. I, I don't know if they'd ever be interested in having me on again. Uh, but if they did, I'd, I'd probably go on again. From Maverick Zero, loved your Japanese cartoon stream with Gator. Hope the inevitable nuclear fallout from Papa Putin cures your cancer. From Danny the Sage, play the Pig Squeals death metal uh, playlist. From Mark, rip Boogie1488, JDH87. So when do we get anime rabbit Daddy Jim? Also, Ralph hates anime because anime is popular, and that makes him envious. From Bomb the Zoms. Hey, Jim, have you seen the Big Les show? It's what the Giga Chud show is based on. Really good shit and all made in MS Paint. Uh, no, I have not seen it. From Ryan Neverstar. You being three years older would pretty much uh, have you be senior in high school compared to him being an edgelord freshman. Imagine that. From Mr. Bungus, the mighty corn harvest will be mighty plentiful this year. From Chorgan Squirm Hammer, Jim to join GDQ and his super er, and his run in Super Gun 64. From Vicious Vickers, you gave me more laughs this month than I've laughed in a long time. From Super Kilgore, Jim, any chance for a trans test or any chance for a trans two tails. Uh, 
I, I don't know. That first one was pretty heavy. I mean, it opened up with uh, a dude getting his penis inverted. <laughs> it's like two, three straight minutes of a dude getting his dick twisted inside out. How do you follow that up? Uh, from Tesnich, Super God 64 is the best thing ever. Canadian wife who, hey Jim, thoughts on the Ukrainian ambassador speaking at the UN telling Putin to commit Sudoku? Most base stuff I've seen in a while. Stay safe, Dad. I haven't seen it, but I'll check it out. Legato Mati. There's a vid on World Star of a creep catcher Chris Hansen style sting in Canada of a guy who showed up to meet a girl in a tiny, in a teeny tiny scooter clown car, and it's awesome. He nopes out, and it gets better from there. <laughs> I'll have to, I'll have to try to find that, I guess. From Doug Conferry. Shout out to Spooky and the rest of the 3D printed gun Twitter. Ralph should print a gun and sunset himself. From the Salt Merchant, I'm Mr. Medicare, and you're listening to Who Are These Podcasts? From Nine Star Rune, why do Wings and Ralph trolls go so hard, but DS tr DSP trolls are too pussified to do anything like this? Uh, well, DSP is like a magical entity, right? Like he's, I, I don't know how to explain it, but he, he's gone through so much trolling at this point that he's like impervious to it. And really... It's just him, whatever damage he does, he does to himself. And everybody's just kind of like a bystander. Really, there's no more like active engagement. You don't need to do anything. DSP does it to himself. I, I, what what did his trolls do before? They they <laughs> they donated a water well in Africa. I, it's, it's a really weird... I don't know. That's like a long fucking discussion. Uh, from Road Warrior 2, I forgot, was Ralph the wannabe alpha male life coach that says video's bad whilst making his... Wa no, that was uh, Jack Murphy, is who you're thinking of. Uh, Deadweight Nero. Uh, Gale will be known for creating rich, moving lore that expands to this day. Gunt will only be remembered for having his merce stolen and venting online from his diary. Have a moment to take that in. From Doc Window Licker, you have always seemed to have a special a talent of identifying future Spurgs. Do you know they're going to implode like this when you make contact? Ah, uh, <laughs> I I don't know. I don't, it's 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 some kind of it's some kind of uh, magic. I don't know. From Brummity Blank, would you be down to collab with Peppa Uncle Jim? Uh, peppered pickle, pickled pigskins. I I don't now. She's got like some kind of contract thing with the streaming, right? Where she can't do anything that's like risque or naughty. So I don't know what kind of collab it would be. Uh, from Flamenco TV, Elder Rings is Game of the Year. Looking forward to Ralph wearing the Riketa E-Girl shirt on the Eli Schaefer show. Uh, Murphy uh, chipped out on April... Oh, wait, is he really going on April 1st? I didn't know if that was real or not. Uh, well, I, apparently, there are more Ralph stuff coming up because uh, he's mad at Riketa, so he's going to go on to uh, Schaefer's show, which is the one that Jack Murphy freaked out about the Super Chat on, wearing a Riketa E-Girl shirt? Not sure exactly what that entails, but it should be interesting. From Aiden Maui, give me some Liberty Prime Daddy Jim. Tell a script. The HD remaster of Super Gun 64 was canceled after the Gun physics simulation set all the com or computers in the Nintendo office on fire. From Road Warrior 2, Manhattan Cafe Best, Uma uh, Mimosa. Uh, Reno Miles, uh, Hyenas and Deers are cool, 10 out of 10. Anders Pack, my dad went for cigarettes and came home with cancer. Freck cancer up like your frecked associated idiots, Jim. Uh, Juan, but not forgotten. From Kaiser Conan Grotzer, a breaking news ghost of uh, Keygunt named Ethan Ralph. William Hurt, uh, did you buy Ralph's Gucci purse to flex on him harder? Uh, no, I have no interest in buying a Merce. I'm not sure what exactly that shit's about. Like, you should be able to fit the majority of your shit in a wallet. Uh, anything else, you'd pack and fucking luggage i don't know what like what oh, you could bring in like camping gear with you why do you need a merce like what what's going in there you got one one pocket for your wallet one pocket for your phone your keys are going in you know somewhere with them and that's that's good right what other shit are you bringing with you that doesn't follow that formula uh i guess i'm an old man maybe maybe zoomers in chat can enlighten me what do you need a merce for what would a man need a purse for what shit are you carrying in that I don't fucking know. I can't imagine. I can't picture it. I don't know what you're carrying with you. It was Armani, somebody in chat said. Oh, excuse me. His Armani handbag. Uh, drugs. Karen Kiljoy said drugs would be something that you need the merce for. 
Well, I don't know if you'd put your balls, whispers in the dark, in a merce. Zipping it up would probably be fucking painful. Somebody said food, pills, drugs, a lot of drugs are what I'm seeing in chat. Uh, Tux loves you. Read my chats. I'm seeing your chats. I'm reading chat right now. And the majority of people all seem to agree that, <laughs> that his merce is full of nothing but pills. Okay. It's a merce full of, maybe that's why they stole it from him. It was just nothing but fucking pills. Uh, from Dylan Rao. Hola, Papa Jim. Thanks for keeping me company while I die from the flu. Oh, you're welcome. From Major Gills. Jim, ever since I told you to give me a shout out at or for my wedding, my wife won't stop procreating with my six black stepsons. Uh, you're, you're welcome. <laughs> Mr. Bungus, what superpower foes Cancer Man have, Jim? I'm not sure what his enemy would be. We'd have to have uh, Ralph expand the lore for that. Uh, from Cractonus, Mr. Medicare did make me chuckle. From Dio Brandle, Jim, I'd love to see you talk to Vouch if you could stomach it. Uh, yeah, somebody said you should, talk, you should talk to Destiny again. Uh, you want me to talk to Vouch? I, what am I going to talk to any of them about? Like, I don't I don't really make videos or stream that often. Um, what What is there to discuss? What What hot political take do I need to drop? Are we going to talk about... Uh, carpet bombing mexico again like <laughs> what what is there to follow up with from major gillis i wish i was jade in that spaghetti video from red bandito matt sounds like he's lactating soy anders pack the only thing ralph could bring down is a burger down his throat from obro the epic jim should debate bread tubers again that sounds like an awful idea what am i going to debate them on Hey, everybody, it's Jim, and I disagree with uh, these people that I'm talking to right now. Uh, okay, thanks for coming out to the stream. See you next year. <laughs> hey, hey, everybody, it's Jim. I'm talking to some liberal people. I'm a conservative. We disagree. All right, thank you for coming out and buying my hats. All of my fucking precious hats. Thank you so much. <laughs> There's your stream. That's me versus every bread tuber. That's that's the end. That's every fucking debate you'd get. I mean, what what are Vosh and I going to talk about? Um, the proper way to masturbate a horse? <laughs> Is that the conversation? Uh, uh, let me lay down. I'm going to throw the gauntlet down, Vosh. I challenge you to debate on how to masturbate horses. If you feel like taking me up on it, hit me up, buddy. And we're going to go over the proper milking procedure for jacking those things off. There you go. Debate me, bro. <laughs> debate me and buy my hats. You clip that and send it to him. It's a direct challenge. <laughs> see, how, see how it turns out. Okay. Oh, we still got we still got a handful to go through here. So since we do. Holy shit, if I've been re reading Super Chats for like 40 minutes, yeah, I need a, a small break to take another drink. Uh, let's see, let's. what music should we put on for this? Oh, I don't know. You all hate my musical taste, right? So if I put something on, you're just going to... You're just going to shit on me. Uh, t -t -t shit. I don't know. Chat, give me a good... Give me a good song to put on. Some good, some good music to put on. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Let me see what I can find here. Oh, I'm blanking out. I'm blanking out. I just, it's gonna, it's gonna fucking devolve back into blues clues. I, oh, well, yeah, I mean, maybe we could do some Liberty Prime. It's not really music, though, is it? <laughs> take a break. Just play Liberty Prime quotes as you take a break, Jim. Oh, wasn't there like a music fucking version of this somewhere? I don't know. I don't think there is. Or if there is, it's long gone now. Man, YouTube sucks. You used to be able to do like a search for shit and find what you were looking for, but now everything is so fucked with the algorithm. You have to sort it by like date. 
and then scroll down for 10 hours to find something. It's fucking infuriating. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, somebody said play some MC Jarbo. Uh, let's see what he, what his newest one is here. Uh, good choice. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll play this for the break. Uh, give me a few minutes. I'll come back, finish up the Super Chats, and we'll, we will call it a night. Well, we'll call it a February. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Degunt Lay Down featuring MC Warski. Looks like uh, MC Jarbo and MC Warski putting down some, some heat together. Let's go! Portugal, what are we going to do in Portugal? Portugal, do you hear me? The country, Portugal. I will be there Portugal. Sunday morning. I think once I get into Portugal, man. I can Portugal. Oh, fuck I want. Portugal's about to be insane. Oh, I can't even believe we're going to Portugal. Breaking news. Portuguese surgeons have been able to reconstruct a U.S. man's face after it was violently caved in by a midget in a purse-related altercation. Last year, I trashed my car. You know what? I didn't have a scratch on me, but two days abroad, and I end up like a living crash dummy. Naturally, bought me an underage broad locals laughing at me, scoffing down Burger King internationally. The gun straight up started spitting raps on these bitches, and the fact they can't speak English, ha, free pass for some privilege. What's up, my niggers? The comeback was relentless. Damn, it ain't just the victory, the vicious. <laughs> and all my criminals, benches and misadventures came within inches of having my fucking head collapse in the hedges. <laughs> Not my stupid ass off my sketches. Caught the beating that I've been eating ever since I lashed out at Vickers. Three long days, fucking some hospital stretcher in like the smallest fucking bed that they could possibly measure. Doc, my peripheral vision's fucked up. Doc, I burst my stitches. Doc, please refresh the page so I can find out what my purse matches. What's with the laughter? Not some type of paranoid vision. And I just hear it in my fucking head. What the fuck is this? All you had to do is fuck this faggot sister. sister. Just look beyond my eyes. Doc, it got my ass mixed up with tipster. Four on one, two, three, and to the foe. That's the sound of surgery. Oh, picking up teeth from the foe. You wanna live it up like you don't give a fuck. You do whatever you want. Time for you to stick them up. You must be fucking bugging if you think you won't get touched. Now give me all your stuff. You fat bitch, lay down. Scientists are hopeful that the man will regain his eyesight. Although they stress they may not be able to save his pig snap. Listen, you ain't welcome in Azores so or Lisbon. Not just for Portugal, I mean anywhere this bitch wanders. Safer for you, buddy, if you stick to the Richmond projects. Obviously, after the, the done, fixing your vision sockets. Tell me, did you think you were able to take my pride from me? Mention my family, why? To get a rise from me? When you wave your people goodbye, leave your ego behind. Or next time, there'll be two crosses. What right where your eyes should be? You want the fame and glory. You want to sell your story. By how you travel for me, to my own territory. By how you got destroyed. By a shorty, nah, surely You can't say that so suddenly It's one against 40 You wanna fuck my sister When you're covered in business How the fuck did she see you? You're stuck in I see you Maybe she'll visit and bring you a book That she could read you Or bring the Burger King Cut it up and just force feed you Yo, take this Burger King, bitch <laughs> Rest in peace <laughs>
Okay. All right. We're back. Oh, that was uh, Jarbo the Hut, if you want to check it out. Uh, Degunt Lay Down featuring MC Worski, a uh, newest song that came out, I think, like 10 days ago. Again, Jarbo the Hut is the YouTube channel if you want to go listen to that or other other songs that are out there. Now, let me pull this back up here and we'll get through the, the remainder of them. And there was a debate Bread Tubers one I think we left off on. Make sure I got my place right here. From Road Warrior 2, why did you change your name that my daddy gave me? Oh, my daddy. Uh, just something we did when I got married. Not a lot of, of thought into it. From Loss Glitter Freeze, who is your or who is your favorite? Who is your video anime waifu? I did not have a waifu. I'm sorry. Nicholas Littlefield. Ralph could open up a tortilla factory with the amount of corn in his shit. <laughs> Mad Lad Striker. Oh, what's going? Uh, what's got Orson the Pig ring? From uh, Ricky D. Nachertame. It's your boy Scooby Doo Joint sending a message of respect. God bless us. From uh, Batleth 777. Uh, hey, Jim. I've been listening to you since 2015. Oh, no. We, I read this one earlier on another break. Okay. Yeah, there's some that were read on a couple of the mini breaks. So let me make sure I got. Where do we stop here? Uh. Stone Mexican guy, Mersh unsub from my channel immediately. From username, go on Ranbot Show. From Tedis Doras, you're not my friend, Jimbo. Larry Bernard, they are friends and friends who will help you move out and get, uh, if you have a severe problem, Ralph would be neither of those, and he's likely neither to anyone. From Greep Hole, what does Jim have against friends? Uh, nothing, nothing at all. Some kind of taco, uh, how these weirdos on the internet aren't your friends like we are, Jim. <laughs> from Spacey, uh, Ralph apparently thought you were joking all those times you told him you weren't his friend. He seriously thought you were his friend until a month ago. From Animation Unlimited, I know you think internet friends are gay, but I noticed that you are still always very supportive and friendly with Andy Worski. From Ghost of Recon, is this the same Ethan Ralph that's trying to gain clout by nut-hugging the LGBT or LGBTQ people F dropping British cigarettes all over the place? Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Uh, maybe maybe more shit has happened that I've completely missed. From Road, or Road Warrior 2, you really do have the patience of a saint to keep cool in that situation. This whiskey bag started talking about my wife like that. I'd want to off him. From Slap Dots, thanks for all the entertainment over the years. Fingers crossed for your health, and thanks for the amazing February. For Brad Bandito, why does Flamenco always sound like his tongue and brain are hitting speed bumps? Get to the fucking point, ding dong. Gem free Russian radiation soon. Uh, it's always great when it's free. From Don Udon, Guns of Redemption really doing a look here, look listen every time he tries to interrupt Jim, laugh my ass off. From Richard Gruber, the AMA mainstream was in Clearwater, St. Pete, not Miami. This Florida band requests you don't besmirch the gunshine state. From Maiden Paladin, the German term for secondhand shame is uh, Fremd Scham. From Nesquik, Chud Pride. Uh, from Bessendise, I butchered your name, I'm sure. Don't worry, I'm sure Ralph will have his redemption during Gamergate 3 or 4. That's, you know, it's third or fourth time's a charm, right? Road Warrior 2, Remorse, from Waxican, Guntenfreud t-shirt when. Uh, Guntenfreud is such a great term. From Brappy Hour, let's all smoke some cigarettes to celebrate. From Brad Bandito, Ralph looks like Harvey Weinstein on Ray, <laughs> Ray Vacation. From 427, Arbok, first time viewer and super chatter, was watching Pippa Pipkin clips. And realize you rely. Okay, uh, again, I, I've read these ones. I, okay, I think I'm catching up to where I was. From Soaring Burb, uh, Ethan was just in a bad headspace, that's all. From Scarecrow's Crows, 709. Hold up, Papa Jim, just wanted to check out. Si okay, yep, I've read that one too. All right, let's see. Sorry, chat. Uh, there's not like a really good way when you've uh, read some earlier to like find exactly where you are. From Autism Forums, Jim, you were going to ask Ralph a question, but he cut you off and said you always wanted to ask, can you talk about that? I don't even remember at this point. It's like a fever dream. <laughs> it's a fever dream of getting hollered at and called Cancer Man. Not sure what that question was, but I'm sure it was something great. From Eternal Firebird, during your fiasco with Diogenes, even Ralph agreed with your statement about not being friends. It must have hurt him deep down in retrospect. And that might be another one of the streams where I mentioned it. So uh, that's two then. From Tux Loves You. 
You've got to watch my call over the kill stream on my channel. Rough froze like a deer in headlights when I mentioned I'm working on a game. Um, well, if you want to see Tux Loves You, creator of uh, Super Gun 64, I believe, <laughs> piss Ralph off. He's got a video up on his uh, on his channel about it. From Ray Gillette, still waiting for that yoga studio gem. Plus, what do you think of Jersh theory on why you didn't go after Ralph until now? I, I don't know what his theory is. <laughs> if you if you had included it, I could have answered. From Artie the Based God. Me personally, I hope he comes to Minnesota because I think I might nail the gun with a milkshake drive-by. From Alistair Gein, the ATF posted their annual memorial tweet about the officers who died at Waco. Can we get an S for the Glowies? From Danny Claw, watching you since 2016 and you helped me get through political and internet hell world. Thanks for everything. Praying for your health. From Mr. Scott J87. Thanks for the rage. Big stream. Best birthday present I had in years. From Rusty Shackelford. Do you still have all your hair after all the chemo? I, I glued it back on. You can't take it from me, Rusty. From Rabbit Corn. Yo, there's a video of this Ukrainian woman teaching people how to drive an abandoned APC. I'm done. From Mail Blaze, please stream about the Black Sun on Father rape movie with Drexel and Rakeda. Also, Tariq Nasheed, you like Drexel. Uh, the, the something about the Johnsons, is that the movie we're talking about? I mean, I would love to fucking do a stream about that. Um, but it, it's such a weird fucking movie. Uh, 69 Bank Rolls, not to be a wet wipe, but how's Mayo Clinic and Cancer Treatments? I don't want to see a fucking good night, sweet Prince stream anytime soon. I went down there and did a bunch of shit. Because uh, usually they'll schedule, at least in internal medicine, with a bunch of specialists. And you go down and you're there for like a week or two. And you do a bunch of shit at once. All the tests and you see all the, you do all your visits. And then you, because I mean, this is like a four hour drive for me. And then you come back and wait for the results. And then you do it again two or three months later. The problem with, uh, you know, things being shut down and opening up and shut down and opening up, it was a pain in the ass to get in. So it's, I mean, I'm, I'm in what's called diagnostic odyssey at this point, uh, which is genomics, genetics. So I don't know. It's a lot of testing to figure out what the fuck I'm going to do. From Waxigan, what kind of bird will Putin turn into? Uh, we're going to have to wait and see. Caleb Lambright, I think a lot of the miss the art, or a lot of people miss the art contest. Can you make a way to mail you art? <laughs> No, I cannot, Caleb. Or someplace we can have art based on Medicare Adventures. I yeah, there's no need to mail me anything. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I have to make I have to make Jade shake the box in the lawn in case it explodes. <laughs> Any package that shows up, that's the protocol. Uh, from Big Guy. I'm sorry, I manifested World War Three out of a heartbreak, Daddy Jim. I couldn't help it, but I did it for the lols and X. Nobody loves me in my life. A woo. Road Warrior 2, ever going to have a discussion with Lord Miles? He's a mad British lad that went to Kabul as it was falling, and now he's in Kiev. Uh, well, yeah, I did see that he went there, and he he, he made some bants with some of the reporters that pissed him off, too, from what I understand. Uh, Metacore's Ludicar and Archives. Twitter be like, white on white violence, black, most affected, Ukraine can't defend. From Crusader, degenerate Coomers coomed with chaos too hard. Now the world is going to end before we retake the Holy Land. From Hugh Briss, I can't sneed. From Slav Supreme, have you seen what Azov did to capture Chechnyans? From Dyla Spoonge, hey Jim, long time viewer, thanks for the many laughs. Buy yourself a pack of cigarettes, can I get a big a woo? From Kazakhan, 35, those damn Russians just had to choose Christian's birthday to invade. From Metacorn and Ludicorn's archives, can't wait to see Redditors get chunky salsa. Logan Spencer, Ukrainian UN mission is the best way to join the Foreign Legion and preserve Borscht. Embassy hasn't responded to emails or calls. From Sileus, the Seven Samurais, second guy is worth three. From Magna, uh, hey Jim, hope the whole cancer thing is going well for you and my boys at Mayo are treating you right. If the cancer is spread to the trees on your property, make sure you call your local Davy Tree experts for all your tree diagnosis and removals. From Rubbish Soldier, Project Genealogy and its consequences have been a disaster for the human race and the internet. From Yule Brenner, the internet doesn't deserve you, Jimbo. One step too far, the coach of Yukuk Bill from Siloed Air Sil si, 80 Redditor's last message before dying. I wish I was consumed uh, more media and played more PS5 beep. Russian anime bot, some shekels for the fallout shelter. Stay safe, Jim. From Epic Yoshi. Baba Jim, I know how to fix your ligma cancer aid. Stop being a little daisy. Do that for a week and you should be fine. I will take it under advisement. For Corgan Scormhammer. Jim, did you see Lord Miles made it to Ukraine? Yes, I did. 
Road Warrior 2, Lord Miles in the same hotel. Are they actually in the same hotel? And that is funny. Maybe we'll get like a, a crossover stream from Gator H. Uh, hey, Jim. I'm the power within on NG. Wanted to extend an invite to my show. Had Gator and Flam on. Fun times. Shout out to Gino Casino. Uh, might be doing fake Donga or Coach McGurkin for him soon. Coach, <laughs> Coach McGurk. You know, actually, God, I wonder what the fuck is going to happen to Coach. I wonder if we could get like a, a Lord. Maybe they could like do, you know, each take a side, right? Like uh, they could rock, paper, scissors for it for when both forces meet in the middle of the city to fight each other, uh, to figure out, like, okay, Coach, you're going to get the Ukrainians, and Lord Miles, you're going to get the Chechnyans, right? And uh, everybody break and go do your interviews, and best of luck. <laughs> Let's see who lives. Uh, from Laugh My Ass Off, uh, Schwartz. Hang on, hang on a second. Wait a second. Okay, I want to take uh, a second to thank our mods. I'll be back in two minutes. From Crusader, I hate Chechens so much. From Solid Carrot. Friendly reminder that identifying as a trucker sexual will allow you to escape persecution in Canada. All right, now that says I've caught myself up. Let's see if I actually did. Uh, let's see. Oh, my God, I did. All right, I think I think I caught up. Did I or did I not? I don't know. Fucking YouTube sometimes... Okay, uh, Outer Haven, uh, NYC, the Worski Live baked Alaska intervention in another stream you mentioned, not having internet friends, Venti and a few others were there, but not Ralph. Also been a fan since uh, 2016. From St. Fuji, uh, Ralph admitted trash talking is what got him beat. Much love, Jim. From Exiled Postman, Jim, do you think Chris was the only one who uh, could ever hit Barb's G-spot because of his duck is shaped like a hockey stick? That, uh, yeah, that, you know what? Yes, you're correct. Get a lab right. Email me, Jim, or email Jim. I meant email art. Laugh my ass off. Hey, Jim, from Amy. Uh, will you upload VODs anywhere like BitChute or something? I want to watch these again. Uh, usually people are pretty good about um, throwing up copies of these. And then finally, Laugh my ass off Schwartz. Finally, you stream when I'm uh, not a family event. Ethan, why are you crying? I think you said that earlier, too, by the way, which I did read. But I do believe I'm caught up. All right, Chud Buds. Uh, that will that will close us out. Uh, hopefully I got to everybody's. I think I did. If I did not, I'm blaming Susan and YouTube. It is not my fault. I'm a good boy. Uh, will we be around to have a, a stream in March? I have no idea. Is the sky going to uh, burst into nuclear fire? Who knows? Is Ralph going to get pissed off and will be there more adventures? Who knows? Will Vouch take me up on my challenge to debate about the uh, ethics of masturbating horses? <laughs> Who knows? You'll have to tune in to find out. See, that's what you call a teaser. You leave them with a little, a little taste at the end there, and you see where you see where it takes you. Let's close it out with this. Uh, everybody have a great, uh, a great m month of March. Hopefully, we all don't die. Let's let's leave it at that. Let's use that chud energy to survive the nuclear apocalypse. We can do it. The future is bright. All right. Even if it's nuclear, it's still bright. And you know what? That's that's okay with me. I will see you next month, chat. The haters on YouTube are on the verge of flooding with hate comments. He's got that. He's got that. Must wake up. He's got that. Must like that.
So basically I'm a uh, first of all basically I'm a uh, basically I'm a uh, I'm a uh, I'm a uh, basically and uh, first of all basically I'm a uh, I have to say is that I'm a uh, I don't know first of all I'm a uh, how come like I'm a uh, yeah sorry I'm with autism I don't know how to use the words that well. My dad is not a fucking poor. Oh my god, no! Blow it out your ass.